So I'm trying something new this week, bud. Ooh, we're doing kinky. The, the, <laughs> kinky, yeah, because we're doing the video. I, well, I spent five minutes trying to make sure my video looks better. Looking at it now, it looks much worse. So we'll see how that goes. But I also have the, the, the YouTube take of the mic just off the screen. So uh, Should I do that too? <laughs> can, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's much better. And, uh, it's just the cardboard above your head. It's just the resonance. It's just perfect. <laughs> It feels weird Eventually. because if, it feels now that I'm talking to nothing and I'm going to keep looking at the microphone going, is it, is it, is it still there? Is it still there? Cough. Make sure it appears. Eventually, eventually I'd do something with this, but I don't know what. I'll probably have to cover it with flags or some... Sh I don't know what the fuck I'll do, to be honest. Anyway, maybe yeah. I'll get back into doing video. Well, no, I will. I, I plan on getting back into doing stuff next year, but not... In, yeah, next year. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because that's um, saying the, the, you know, the... Dead, the silence and stuff, not the soundproofing, so you can still hear it, but it kind of deadens echoes. Like you go, oh, I must get into that. And every time I go, I go, all right, it's only going to be 80 quid. And then you go, no, that's for four pieces, Tommy. That's oh, yeah, yeah. you know, one small corner of a room. But uh, yeah, but I think when you see the professional studios, they don't have the entire place done in it anyway. They just have the certain, you know, where they've, they've actually worked out where the echoes from and all that. Rather than just random. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of the lads now, they just have that thing wrapped around the mic. Have you seen them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they're yeah. good though. Some some people say they're great. Some people say they're muck. Yeah, the, the the complaint about them is yeah, that's great, but it doesn't stop the echo from coming from everywhere else in the room into it. And yeah. the response to that is yeah, but I'm standing there, and then the response is yeah, you're still not. And then this goes on forever and ever and ever, and people go yeah. yeah so if it, if it seems to work an awful lot, the audiobook boys, uh, audiobook boys, use them, and so I mean it seems to work for that kind of a thing. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose you're not you're not getting too animated when you're reading an audio audiobook, are you? Like even yeah, even depends. fiction stuff. Imagine fiction where, stuff. Like some people. Go I don't know, but he, no, even fiction stuff. I, I've listened to, like even when people do different voices and all. It's it's not you know it's not like me shouting ah fuck you Satan <laughs> or, 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 all that kind of stuff, yeah. you know. Um, here I left out one thing on on that video. Uh, oh yeah, someone yes, had I've asked seen that. someone had asked about automatic writing. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll address the issue. Um, <laughs> the all important issue. What is Spud's thoughts on automatic writing? <laughs> and has he done it? Well, the question was, had I done it before? And what happened? Or what success? Etc. So look, I haven't done it in years. The last time I did it, I would have been 15, 16 years old. would have been in secondary school. And we used to do these, uh, we used to do, we used to have a good friend of mine, a few, a few, a few others as well. But uh, he was the ringleader and uh, we would do, oh, he would try and get people into, like we didn't really know what meditation was, but he would try and get people into like a trance and he'd try and kind of hypnotize you. And then you'd, we'd, we'd, we'd try and do automatic writing. And we always, I always had to do it with our bad hand. I don't know if that's a genuine thing, but this is yeah, what yeah, we always yeah, to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, I used to confound them as well because he'd be like, "Your your your right hand is your right hand writing is is pretty much as good as your left hand writing." It's both shit, is that? Is that, is that really oh, what my left, my, no, my left hand is more readable, but the right yeah. hand writing looks very much like it, like the way the oh, letters right. are yeah. done and all. He's like, "That's strange," and I don't know. It's just the way I write. Anyway, and um, uh, you're are you left-handed? You are left-handed. Yeah, yeah. Son, yeah. Do you use I your right die, hand for? I will die before most people. Oh really? Oh, that's sad. Uh, yeah, that. left-handed my... left-handed people have uh, shorter lives because they they think more and get depressed more, so they shorten their lives. Uh, in yeah, that they kill so... themselves? Is, is that enough? No, no, average no, 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 no. It's just they're they're more uh, they're more yeah. uh, they're more uh, more more with more, more feelings. You know, yeah, I'm, my I'm son's deep, left-handed as deep. well, so that's I'm great news to hear. Well, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> my dad's left-handed too, but he got that kicked out of him at school back in the day so. yeah my mad did too yeah yeah she got it beaten out of her by the by the by the uh, teachers which is awful sad so um, anyway yeah the automatic writing did that come out of it other than uh, just acknowledgement uh, that your, I, your I, handwriting I, is I, shit I, look I, I don't remember i don't remember any results that that we got out of it to be honest because it's so long ago it's what age was it? 16 7 it wasn't even 17 yeah 16 7, 15 16 17 around that age Probably 16, 17. Uh, so I don't remember, but I remember we used to do the Ouija board as well. I think I told you about that as well. We used to get this guy, um, CC was his name. Uh, he would show up all the time. And he was like a local, um, um, I went to school in the Ross, so that has like a river. Mm -hmm. It was like a trading town. Um, and yeah, he used to tell us he was a, a, a boat captain. So. Nice. Yeah, That's but he was an arsehole. He used to lie to us all the time, like you know, you couldn't trust him. And we'd catch him lying and stuff. He'd tell us stuff that we knew wasn't true. Yeah. So 
we could never really believe that. And he said, but then again, one of the lads was like, you yeah, know, he was moving the coin. And I, and, but I was like, I didn't feel him moving the coin. I felt yeah, the yeah. coin moving. moving yeah, so, yeah. you know, so it's more like, you, like can tell, you, can, you would like to think you can tell because I've definitely done Ouija board where the glass or whatever it was was moving. And I've done Ouija boards where there was someone definitely moving the glass. And yeah, there is a, yeah, there is a difference. Like. You'd think you'd know, like, but mm. that's the, the only couple of times I ever did the Ouija board was, was back then with him. So, yeah, I, I done it. And uh, I don't remember the results, but it must have been mustn't have been too bad. I don't know. But I remember doing the Ouija board. I, I, I don't know. Like, what what is the best way to do it? Is is are you supposed to? Well, the best way to do it is kind to, of do it do it when you're meditating, or to do it when you're. No, it seems to me the best way to do it is to do it as a family friendly game and give it to your kids and let them talk to demons because that's uh, originally what it was. <laughs> Just so strange. Aha. Like, okay. Uh, no, I'm not like, doing that. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it was like, uh, here's Monopoly, here's Scrabble, and here's a Ouija board. Get into the room. Uh, Mammy, Daddy yeah. need some time together. Yeah, and then go, go in and talk to, Boone to there Bo- and, yeah. and write down what Boone says because everyone seems to get on with Boone and he gives mm. things, but for something. I don't know. Yeah, and I don't um, know. There's a friend of mine. Um, <laughs> well, I say his name no because he's he's not fully out. Um, he says that he didn't get much uh, success with Boone until he realised that his name is Boone. And I was going, oh, that's interesting. And there's a long story to that. But also recently on a podcast, um, a certain Duncan Balford also pronounced it Boone. So um, there might be something to that, people, if you want to check that out. So his name is Boone, not Boone. Yeah, but it, which is strange because you would think that, you know, the kind of association with Boone as in something that's plentiful and good, a good kind of a Aye. thing, Mike. But, uh, I've, been call- I've been calling him Bone anyway. Oi, Boner! <laughs> yeah. Boner! Give me Boner! Hey, you should never Where's do boner? goetic work because it's not going to go well for you. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't go because I just wouldn't take it seriously. I'd be like, go oh, fuck yourself, you pussy. What the fuck is your problem? Fucking hell. Yeah. Hey, I'll give yeah. you something for fucking blue. And, then, and then people <laughs> wonder why left-handed people die younger. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange how that works. Awful strange. It is strange. So look, if if I if I want to do it again, though, what what am I supposed to do? Because I mean, I'm I'm fairly handy at writing. I'm I've got a good imagination. And what 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 yeah what? Yeah, I think it's a it's trancy it? meditative state. It, but it, it's that whole thing of just getting out of your way and to um, do an awful lot of it in the sense of it's going to take a while before it actually happens. So you'll be just writing bullshit for a long while and you've got all oh, this isn't mm. working it's, you have to keep going and get through that same as doing the, like the automatic sigil stuff you do it over pages and pages and pages and pages yeah. and then you look back and see if there's any repeating patterns rather than right. just going you know is there is there something you know you, you do a sigil three times or something it's like it's okay take half an hour to do this no it's not it's not a yeah, or an yeah, hour yeah, it's, yeah. it's not just going to I be something you. that yeah I, I used to do stuff that, that the one of the office jobs i had here was so incredibly boring that uh uh, <laughs> I watched the I watched the full the all of the Sopranos while I was in work uh, <laughs> over a couple of weeks. Like, oh, like there's like seven series of it or so, seven, six, seven, whatever it is. And um, uh, when people used to walk into the room, I I just had like what's what's that Microsoft one Notepad? I used to have Notepad open, yeah. and I would just type just. Gibbery, gibberish, just uh, <laughs> so that's automatic writing. Yeah, but I don't really, I don't remember. That's automatic remember writing that, under but... pressure, a performance, performance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Writing. yeah. So there used uh, to be people yeah, uh, in <clears throat> offices I know who had foot switches, so that uh, they would have the foot in it. So as soon as someone came, you just release the switch, and it would go to um, yeah. your screen and change. A foot imagine, switch. imagine, yeah, imagine going and buying that and actually knowing, yeah, I'm going to spend all day in work playing, I don't know, Counter Strike, and I need something in case my <laughs> boss comes in. A foot switch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to do that now. Everyone works at home, yeah, which is great. Just, yeah, <laughs> See, yeah. The, there was a thing on Reddit yesterday saying that if this goes on much longer, they're definitely not getting people back. And I was going, you're definitely not getting people back as it is. Uh, so yeah, I mean, get used to it. And and you know, productivity by all accounts hasn't gone down. It's gone up, and it's better. It's just you know that whole thing that you have a certain type of boss. I'm sure we've all had that. Um, you need to be constantly doing something rather than. You know, to be seen to be doing something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. It doesn't matter that you're getting your job done. It's, I, I'm paying you for every second of your day, so you better be, you know, at least cleaning the floor or something. <laughs> that has to be changing, though. Surely, with people, older people retiring and, and stuff like that. Surely, that the way of working is gone or is going. Is it? I don't know. So then again, I don't know. The, the world, the world's a weird, weird place. I saw some some young fella on Twitter the other day. Oh, not Twitter. The, the other one, Reddit the other day, saying that like. The other one. He was asking for um, the other one because they only used two or 
treat him or whatever. He's um he was asking for advice to kind of like uh, how to come out how to come out as an atheist to his uh, friends because he was in this school in one of the southern states, Alabama or is that Alabama? Where's wherever the one of the the one where the lowest COVID vaccinations are. I think it's Alabama. Okay. And, yeah, I think um, that's where Trump was during the week, isn't it? Where he told him. Yeah, I think I think it was yeah. the same one as that. And and he was saying that like it's so um mm, the the God stuff is everywhere because he's he's part of the he was part of the high school football team and he was one of the main players, I don't know, quarterback or something like that. Kicker, that's what it was. Doesn't matter. And but he so he's important. Uh, mm-hmm. but like so he was involved in all the plays and all these things. But like between plays and like at like half times and um what are those things, the breaks they have? Um timeouts. Uh, timeouts. Jesus, I'm used to with American sports. Um they would pray and stuff and he's like, oh, I don't right. want to do this. Like mm. you know, like, I just don't want to do this and like they all made like it's it's so in your could you imagine like Going to school and it was that insidious that like you have to pray during your breaks in fucking PE. That's crazy yeah, that yeah, that yeah. world exists, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I mean, crazy. We used used to have a buzzer in primary school that would go off twelve o'clock. At twelve o'clock, and you're meant to pray, but like literally, no one did it. You know what I mean? But it was like yeah. it, was, it was meant to be there, and I think I don't think it was enforced. I think it must have did you have mass in school? You probably had mass, did you? <clears throat> we definitely had. There was always a constant religious presence. Like those priests would come in and there'd be days, all oh, the priests come on Friday and you have to learn, you know, the names of the apostles. And, you know, then in secondary school, we had priests and we had religion class. But that yeah. kind of more turned into a kind of, a, I suppose, a personal development retreaty type thing than it was a bit. Like the first oh, year... Was, oh, yours, was yours a dominational school or Yeah, a, we were in the uh, Marist. Uh, yeah. Tech. So, okay. Marist, yeah. Um, and so, like, there was the priests lived on the grounds. There was, we were like, the church was connected yeah, to the school. But uh, by the time too. I got there, it wasn't, you know, the priest was your, was like kind of like the hip, trendy dude. You know, he was a young guy and everyone liked him. And he was like, you know, he was like, I don't, I don't think he was making a. a, a Did he have a twelve string guitar? He had a guitar, all that stuff. Yeah, they, you know, they like, all I mean, seem to have twelve yeah. string guitars, don't they? Yeah. So I don't know if it was. I, he seemed too genuine for it to be have been a decision by you know the council to be to be this cool kind of you know, <laughs> hey fellow kids. But uh, <laughs> but you never know. You never know. He's a lovely man, absolutely lovely man. And and like he, uh, he goes, I don't have my uh, I didn't study for my maths test. He'd, he'd you know give you a note and you go and have a chat with him. Like he was he was cool enough. Like you know. So, all right. Yeah. Ours weren't. Uh, well, well, there was four or five in our in our school. And yeah, we, yeah the, uh, most of the ones that were have left since have left the priesthood. Since yeah. that we were there. We we had mass every week, and and depending yeah. on the year we were in, we'd have on different days. I think there were, I think was it, I think second years. I think we had to, I think we had mass on Monday mornings or something. Just imagine, <laughs> <laughs> just really kill your weekend mood. You go to school <laughs> yeah. on Monday morning, and you have, and you have mass, and then we had it. Yeah, yeah. It, it depended on Andy, but it, it, once a week we had to go to mass, and we had to go to confession. So like to, like mass in like the hall, like the main oh, hall, they, or they in had, the church. They had, they had, they had, there was a church in right. on the school grounds. They'd make us go to mass and pray. And your man, yeah, he used to have more or less the same sermon all the time. He used to talk about we have to be. Uh, uh, dynamic, not static. All right. Yeah. All right. But like he used to he used to hit kids and stuff as well. Like he. But that's been dynamic. The head as well. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. yeah. There was a, there, there was a legend that he would he would he would put sellotape on your hands, and then he'd cane you. Right. But I don't know anyone that happened to. Right. Right. Because you know? right, right. they lads used to get called into the office and they'd get a clip on the ear or whatever. He wouldn't beat them, but you know, he'd hit them or whatever. But he was old school. Jesus, shouldn't uh, whatever. Should, School's should. weird in Ireland. It's it's yeah. mental that like boys and girls can't go to school together in, in most towns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went to middle school the whole way through, but it's, that's a rarity. Like a, that's an absolute rarity. Um, yeah, it is a rarity. Yeah. In uh, town here now, it's only um, recently that the, there's one of the, there was a boys' school and a girls' school. Now there was a mixed school as well, but it was it's, it's that. Uh, Educate together, which allegedly, allegedly is somewhat of a cult. Um, but now the boys' school are letting girls in. But I think I don't think they're actually mixing the classes or something. It's all still very strange. Uh, yeah. Strong with Irish people. Like, do they not like? Do they not like the opposite sex or, or what is it like? Well, I think it's that uh, we like them too much. I think that's the <laughs> issue. <laughs> you know? Maybe yeah. Like, it's such a weird thing. You do these like, um, you know, because you're a teenager, you want to impress the girls or whatever. But like, you know, you, like. You literally get to see girls for what? Like I, I went to secondary school and it was what, half an hour on a bus, so an hour a day I was on right. my bus for. 
an hour a day and you just you you know gel your hair try and look good <laughs> as you can in a fucking uniform a yeah. bland uniform for like maybe some maybe some young one might look at you and it's just pathetic you know what I mean like the lads were so horny as well like they'd just be like religion teachers and all of our all our religion teachers they were just <laughs> <laughs> it's just like cause they're only females that they see oh, yeah, yeah. like they're the whole day 65 just... year old plump short women but like oh man when it's all you have but then as we got older then we started going drinking and one of them one of them used to drink in one of the pubs we were in that was that was good crack you know because she'd be she'd just shake her heads at us because we'd be blue as drunk fucking head banging to metallic or whatever <laughs> she was sound though, yeah mad times school is yeah. I don't like school though I wouldn't go back I hate it, oh, hate it. absolutely hate mm. it hate it of course. I think I'd have got. I think I'd have got gotten on better if I'd had gone to a school that number one had had girls, <laughs> so like you could learn to actually speak to the fairer sex. And as well, if it, like my school had, had no, there was no handiwork. There was no. Um, yeah, same for me. Yeah. Carpentry, iron work. There wasn't. There was, there was nothing like that. You know, yeah. I would would have liked to have done that for sure. It is what it is. That's it. Yeah, or even you know, I don't know, learn something you're interested in. Imagine, I, like there was no music <laughs> even in my school. You know what I mean? Yeah, none like, of my li- Yeah, I mean all the time, like. There was an art, and I just didn't get on with my art teacher because he was, oh, he just, I don't know. If he knew how to, you know, all the theory behind art and how to do all that, he never shared it. <laughs> anyway, we met and we had a sub teacher come in for two weeks and like obviously she knew, you know, because there's a lot you can teach people about art, particularly about life drawing and anatomy and all that kind of stuff. And he just didn't. And she came in two weeks and it was like, all right, there's, there's stuff you can learn. Is that art? This is mad. You know, then it was Boy, what would he be doing? He'd be just give you a sheet of paper and say, yeah, He'd go, yeah, today draw. we're going to draw um, what it's outside a window. Or um, oh you know, God, draw that's hair, and it's like rather than explain, you know, there's fairly couple of not rules, but there's guidelines and stuff, and you know, drawing hair or whatever. He just wants you just sit and draw hair all day, you know, as if to, you 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 have to start from Leonardo dissecting the bodies and learn it all yourself, rather than going. Well, I mean, there's five hundred years of this. Can, can we not just stand on some shoulders here and uh, you know mm. learn form and no? But he obviously knew it because I mean, he, you don't go to art college and become a teacher and not see that not being like so like he didn't go to whatever it is four years of our college and no one mentioned it to him you know I'm sure there is classes and all that but uh, yeah if there had been music um, if there had been I don't know yeah some sort of walking with your hands thing whatever even home economics came in but it was like too late for me to do it because I probably would have done that because it had it definitely didn't have the kind of thing of that oh that's a girl's thing because it was, it was just well that's why you do it though you'd be the yeah. only boy in a room full of girls yeah. of course you fucking do home economics yeah but so I mean uh-huh. it's, I don't know it's, I, I, I still probably wouldn't have enjoyed it I, I just didn't I didn't fit in I didn't feel like I don't know it felt like it was everyone else understood what was going on and I didn't you know that kind of way I just thought, <laughs> totally cool. I, didn't know. Yeah, I was yeah, so sure naive and so absolutely yeah I just didn't understand the rules I didn't get it anyway so yeah it's a weird time I wouldn't uh, I kind of I'm kind of dreading the young, the young fellas starting school next year and I'm already kind of dreading it and yeah, and I, I just, down will you he's not you yeah and I, right. I don't also you know you don't want to prep him either you know you don't want to preload him and kind of go you know when, when this happens just go yeah go enjoy it Vanessa loved school she loved it so I mean and she just didn't give a shit about it. She loved the whole hanging out with her friends, but so obviously she knew the rules. And she knew what was, she knew what was going on. She had that secret yeah. of how to do it. Like where's you know adolescent horny boy who's in impo- doesn't know how to talk to anyone who just wants to play guitar. <laughs> Ooh, kiss me, fuck off, yeah, you yeah, weirdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking Ooh. about me, me or you there? <laughs> I'd say ninety percent of fucking boys. Although there's yeah. all a couple. There's all about four or five. You know, knew knew the story. You know, oh yeah, crusties. That's what we were. Crusties <laughs> hanging around the back back of the houses, smoking. The the what's his name? The, the head 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 bottle washer came out one day with a bucket of water and threw it at us. That was <laughs> fun. Yeah. Fucking the principal and was sitting in wet clothes then for the rest of the day. That was fucking nice of him. Yeah. You know, headmaster just used to find everyone a fiver if he caught them smoking. I'm sure he was just making a you know some money. Yeah, he was just going off and buying fags himself. Right. Yeah. That's all he was doing. Yeah. But come here, I just want to, I want to, unless you don't want to talk about it, but I want to talk about right. it because it came up in the Q&A <coughs> and also it's kind of relevant to the blog post that you did recently. All right. Which is, yeah. So there's kind of the, the thing that came up in it was, um, I saw it was one of the questions where it was, how, why do you think this all happened to you so fast? And um, given, 
you know, Crowley had to bugger people in the desert to get where you were. Uh, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> he had a slightly different journey, let's say. Uh, um, and I was kind of thinking, because then given the um, your blog post, which is kind of a history of BVM visitations, I suppose, or, or, or where it was part of it anyway, given in your younger days. And it's kind of, I want to put it to you, Spud, in that I would suggest that you had a, a long kind of, that this was a big part of your life, only you, you wasn't allowed because of things around it. And you kind of, there's a, if it, to go into a Magia thing, you, you started playing out a role of something that was given to you. Because there's, there's in the, your blog post you talk about, you had one of the visitate. What's the correct word for that? It's about vision, visions. I'd level. say vision. 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 Okay. I don't so you had a, a vision yeah. of um, the BVM, and then the next day at school, the teachers talk about <laughs> visions <laughs> of the BVM. <laughs> BVM is blessed with Virgin Mary and Kate. Piss, I'm, I'm being obtuse. Um, and you said, "Yeah, well, I had that," and uh, the, everyone laughed at you, which, in a sense, is kind of the role then you played for a while uh, towards all of this stuff. In that, when someone did Ooh. that, you would have a laugh uh, at them. You know, I've so it, that, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So I, I was kind of there. There's a shadow there, and it's been something that like you, you don't need. Or at least not the same way. I mean, um, oh, I'm like, getting all tingly here, man. Yeah, it's a funny yeah. one. I didn't even notice that. Wow. Yeah, so that, I just, because that was like, an, all right, that's interesting. So, what, what I'm proposing is that there was a whole, you were obviously into this stuff. It was obviously very, you were a sensitive boy, you were spiritually, I'm sure you, I'm not, <laughs> perhaps you were. Uh, oh, I cried a know, lot, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. You know, so you have, the, you have all that, and then there's a kind of a, a shutdown because you're, you're told this is ridiculous, and then you learn that that's the game to play, so you become really good at it. And so you become <laughs> the, you know, yeah. shutty downy uh, play play that role, and then you you come out of it. So I suppose in a sense, going well, why did it all happen so fast? Well, it probably not that fast. I, I think you just kind of took right a now. middle chunk so, out of your life. That yeah. So you're yeah. saying from the age of seven to thirty-seven, I wasted thirty years. Is basically what you're saying. No. <laughs> and then you, 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 you that's yes. what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, yes, but also no. Uh, in that, no, I'd say there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a possibility of uh, an origin uh-huh. scene of a shadow uh, within that uh, classroom setting. That's, that makes sense. Yeah. That that's yeah. wonderful. Thanks for that. That's no that's great. Man. You didn't even have a question. You just sorted out my. No, life. Well, the, Thanks, no, my question. Is, my question is, <laughs> what do you think about that idea? <laughs> Was that, does, that, does that make sense? Yeah. That's, so that's, it's more. That's... It's a more an answer to when people ask, "Why do you think Spud got it?" Because I think there is a kind of slight implication in that that it's I don't believe Spud. You know, there's no way. And I've gone. Well, I think mm. if you look at his life as, as look at your life, I'm talking about you as if you're not here in a, a wider <laughs> sense, especially the stuff that you've been more kind of open and, and saying about now and that there is mm. more stuff going on. And I guarantee you, as I said to you at the time, there'll probably be stuff that you'll, not that you, you'll remember because it's like stuff that you know, but you'll, you'll connect to it. Yeah, I haven't so connected there's, to the dots. So there's, there's yeah, probably yeah, yeah. a longer story going on here with a middle ground of playing this role, which obviously, you know. If, probably, uh, yeah. I mean, what I had kind of, what I had kind of, the conclusion I had kind of come, to, even though I didn't write it in, 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 in the blog post, was that a bit like Patrick Harper's thing of that, uh, the things man- manifest to you. Um, uh, the best way for based you. On, b- b- based mm. on kind of what you know, all right? Yeah, so yeah. if you have a slight curiosity in UFOs, you might see a UFO. If you have a, a thing with the Virgin Mary, you might see her. If you have a thing with Jesus, you might see him. If you have a thing with... Now, I don't know why why I was given the name Minerva because I don't have, I didn't know. Well, I mean, Minerva. yeah, but fine. But it, you can understand that if, if it's first come to you as, as the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is an obvious thing to come at an Irish young boy and stuff. Yeah. And she's like, you, you can't really understand the status level that the Mother of God has in uh, Irish Catholicism unless you're part of it. Like, it, it, it seems to... <laughs> Like it's so much so that the Protestants went, hold on, we're getting rid of her entirely. <laughs> yeah, 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 quickly. <laughs> quickly she's, yeah. she's she's bigger than God, like. Yeah, she is bigger. Than, she is no. she is bigger than God. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, no question. Yeah. Um, so I mean, yeah, so I can understand that if it's a case of coming to you as what your, you know, then BVM and Minerva, I can I can I can see. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I can see it now as well. No, no, no. no but what I mean is that, like, okay, I, like I, I kind of understand why it came as that the first time because that was in my world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Virgin is Mary. the representation of what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, but this Roman goddess is wasn't really in the world. Like I, I have known one lady, 
with that name from the Basque region. I worked with many, many years ago, but mm -hmm. they're obviously not connected. Like, you know the name Athena, everyone knows that name. Yeah, yeah. No one, hardly anyone knows the, the, the Roman version of it, you know. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's just a name. It's not always, I, anyway, whatever. We've spoken enough about that. But, yeah, but, but, um, but a notable name within a cult too. Like, and it would be, like, it's the first grade of the OTO. It's, you know, it's it's this kind of the Minerva yeah. and it's, it's it is another one. I just can't remember. I was going to say the Masons. I'm not sure it is the Masons. But I mean, that's fine. And now you know that and you could go up. Oh, yeah. yeah. You definitely did not know that at the time. No, no. I no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had no yeah. notion. And there was nothing that you, you like, you you, you <coughs> didn't even know what the OT was, OTO was at the time. So it wasn't. No, just, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. No. So just, just uh, in case people it's, go. Yeah. Because yeah. it's easy so to like, say, oh, yeah, Minerva. Uh, you say, oh, no one knows now. What would we do? And you call, yeah, yeah. But. Spudden, so yeah, I don't because I'm yeah. so fucking ignorant, you know, in the proper sense of the word and the other sense of the word, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it just Irish no, people no, who think ignorant means rude, or is that a universal thing? No, I think it's universal. All right, that's all right. Um, it, that, it, it really doesn't, in it, it's a definition in the dictionary. Like. Oh, yeah, it definitely doesn't. Yeah, yeah. no, that's just that's you kind of bowled me over now with that re revelation. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's maybe that is where it comes from, but like, I remember. I can't remember the day in, 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 in uh, I was trying to think of what age I was for, for, for the, for the blog post. And, but then I remembered the teacher I had and I kind of remembered who I was sitting beside and all that stuff. And then it came back to me what age I was, but yeah, I remember putting my hand up and saying it and just everyone just pissing themselves laughing at me. And I'm just like, in my head, I was just like, how 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 can you sit here and believe what she said about mm. strangers, and I'm here telling you the truth, and no one believes me? Like what the fuck? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not breaking up. I just have a phlegmy a phlegmy throat. Sure. <laughs> I'm just sure. crying. Sure. Yeah. We believe um, you. <laughs> and, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's. Uh, and you think they kind of yeah. the the laugh was more because um, it sounded like you were just making it up because she had just said it or. Was it just in general? Sure, look, I mean, what age was everyone? Nine-ish, nine, ten-ish, nine, yeah. But I, 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 assume, I assume people were responding to whatever reaction the teacher had. Like, if she had believed it, there wouldn't have been a laughing kind of. So the adult in the room, I assume, led Maybe, the atmosphere. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember if she laughed, but I remember... But, I mean, it was, I was a wimp in school anyway. The kids, oh, I was bullied a lot anyway. So anything that I would ever do would just be ridiculed anyway by a certain few ringleaders, and then everyone else would just follow it anyway. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so I could have, I could, I could have stood up and said, "I think you're full of shit, teacher," and mm. I still would have got laughed at. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it, yeah, would, yeah. I, it, I, I learned fairly. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't learn quickly. I learned very slowly to just to not get involved in anything in school because you're only going to get made fun of. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Keep your head, keep your mm -hmm. head down, and say nothing. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And that's so what, shit what then? That's, as that's as a, you went into your. Like your 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 twenties and stuff, and after having experience, did you just completely forget about them or discount them, or did you just go, "Oh, that was obviously just me being like everyone must have things like that"? Or how did you, in a sense, internally justify um, telling other people that they can't have that experience, given that you had those experiences? If that does that does that make sense? That question. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Um... Other than you're playing a role in them, in a sense, like let, let, let's. I suppose I would have just denied them. They didn't happen. They're bullshit. That's yes, what I would have told yeah. myself. They're nothing. You know. This is this is the thing back. that people believe is true or something. Is it? Is it? I just would have dismissed them, saying, "Nah, they're, they're nothing." But now looking at it, mm, coming out the other side, you look back and you go, "Oh, maybe there was something there." You know? Yeah. There's strange experiences, like just really. Yeah, uh, I tried to put them as best I could in the blog post into words, but like, well, I, I didn't go that, the, the first, the first one I went into a good bit, and the other two it didn't really, because, what can you say about them, it's just something weird that happened, there she is, she's standing in a tree kind of thing, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and the other one, she's up in the kind of sky, um, just there, and okay, that happened, and like my tiny mind then didn't know what to do with it, you know. Mm. I had been made fun of the first time I told anyone. So then it's just why would you bother telling anyone? Just so, but then it was never never happened again. So, um, and I don't feel any affinity to her, the figure. Really, to be honest, I, I, actually, to be honest, I feel the opposite to her because I think it's overblown her. Mm. 
it, the whole virgin thing is obviously bullshit. Do you sure. know the whole uh, like the, the 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 what do you call it the the rank kind of that she has in the hierarchy of heaven. Well, it's just because it's the, they tried to replace the goddess like that. It's uh, she. No, but she but, but also that 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 was only given to her in the was the second Vatican Council there in the sixties mm-hmm. in Dublin. Like, yeah, Mac, she hasn't Mac, had. She's she, Mac yeah. conception. Yeah. Exactly. She hasn't had this rank very long, like, so... Well, she has in, like, what a shitty word, folk Catholicism. Like, she definitely did. Like, you know, it's that, yeah. so it's just not an official. And I think that kind of had to acquiesce to it because it was that, like, they're going, well, we're not changing this. Like, the people have decided that, yeah. she, you know, it's... it's Whatever. But like that, 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 that just shows you how, how slow the church are to move. Like people had this folk belief for what, a thousand years, I'd say, a thousand five hundred sure, years. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, if, in the sixties, uh, maybe it, it, it didn't change. Uh, you know, like I mean, uh, in that, in that, uh, uh, pagan Christian switchover, um, uh, I, I just suspect it was, it was like in the same way that the you know the the saints uh, in Fudan or Fudu uh, are just you know they're guises for the lower. So it's, yeah. you know, but it, it just looks like it's the same worship. Like, it's. <clears throat> but I mean, so that's not, not to say that every every Catholic thinks she's a goddess. Some people think she's the, the, and there's a huge fear thing around her as well. Like you should be scared. Like, the, but that we have that about all the thing. You should fear God, fear Jesus, <laughs> fear your parents. Just be, just be, yeah. just be scared, will you? Jesus <laughs> Christ, just be scared, will you? <laughs> Christ's sake, who do you think you are? Not being scared. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that to me because I, w- I wouldn't have put that together. Because like I was, I told you, I was, I was nervous about putting that out. Because mm. like that's, I'd be more nervous uh, trying to tell my wife that I'm a saint than uh, <laughs> saying that I'm taking BVM. <laughs> like. You know, I, th- I think it's fair to say I'm well out of the broom closet by now <laughs> with everyone who listens to the podcast, but I'm not with th- the normal world. You know? Like, there's a, what, what, like, um, your ma, your dad, or your your, your siblings. They don't have a fuck. They don't have a You don't clue. mention it at all, no? Not they know you're doing the tell. podcast, though. Look, or... they, they know I'm, I do a podcast, but they haven't a clue what it's about or anything. Like, right. You know? Oh, something with aliens if, or something, is it like that? Yeah, kind of paranormal stuff. But, like, if... Like the, the last couple of times I've been out with, with my good mates over here and, and it comes up. I don't shy away from it. Mm. But I don't be like, hey, guess what happened to me? Yeah, oh, look at this set of tarot cards. Yeah, let's get yeah, this yeah. going. No, 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 no. There's no, I don't, no, 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 no. Unless, I think, I think unless you're asked about something, don't. But, uh, but that's just the kind of rule for life I have anyway. Unless you're asked about something, don't, 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 don't be boasting or don't be. Yeah. You know, don't be bigging yourself up. And it's not like it confidence thing or anything like that it's just that most people only want, only want to talk about themselves so don't be that guy you know just just yeah. be cool and be friends with your friends instead of trying to oh look I got a new you know one of those oh yeah you're talking about that HD television oh well I just I bought four of them that's, <laughs> how, that's yeah. how much money I have and you know what I'm just going to throw rocks at three of them because uh, you're poor and I can you yeah. know don't don't be that guy um, nothing, more, nothing more than casting yourself in, a, in mid going oh I'm doing that oh, I'm, did I'm I trying, do that oh, oh yeah. I that yeah and you just you kind of go well. What do I, how do I get out of this? Because I can't just stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, well, Buy more stuff. <laughs> so I think what I, I tend to do is try and then, you know, either say something funny, you know, to make myself look like a dick, or to uh, compliment people or whatever it is. You know, do something that yeah. at least can't. But it's like it's so. Oh no! I did it again. <laughs> there, there he is. Look at him. Look at that idiot doing that thing. I don't know. See, look, look what, what 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 kind of got me to to write the blog post was this. Uh, Evelyn Underhill book that I'm still trying to get make my way through. Is that like the inner work is it? Is that that one? That, or my no, no, it's uh, uh, what's the long name for it? Something like a study of mysticism or something like that. Uh, oh, look, okay. if you Evelyn Underhill mysticism, you'll find that book. The, the problem with the book is that it's so dense and so well researched that like you can read five pages and you just go right. I have to take some of it in. Like you can't. It's, yeah, it's not yeah, like a normal yeah. book. You can read 40, 50 pages a day or whatever. You know, like you just need to just kind of settle with it, you know. But um, so so reading that, I wanted. I, I then I, I it just came into my head. Is shit. I had stuff like this when I was a kid. What what was that? Maybe that. Yeah. Ha! Huh, I've yeah. denied what that might have been. Mm. Okay, I need to look at that. You know, but I wouldn't have. Put, I wouldn't have put what what you got over. It. No. Ah, you would have. You would have. You, you, I think you would have. Yeah. It's it's just. Maybe, know. maybe, maybe. So yeah, so yeah, I saw everyone making fun of me. And then I saw that's the thing to do 
to the well, I necessarily think that it's that's that's yeah, that that's the rule. That's then, the that. normal thing to do. That's yeah, and it's also that's how I'm going to keep myself safe. Is I'm going to make sure I don't do that again. So anytime that happens, I'm going to yeah. play the role of the people who laugh me, and then you become the person who laughs, and it's played out. So it's the transmission from here's the rule, here's the secret, yeah. and then you yeah. do it yourself and uh, and others. So the thing that they are doing to you is the thing that you ultimately end up doing. That's the the sadness. That's Smart, the demon. Yeah. yeah, that's the caca yeah. demon. Dimonos. It's the evil genius. That's the word I couldn't say on the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, like then the, 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 the Manjia thing is you just name it and you, you go through the whole thing. But, but I don't know. <clears> sometimes I get too obsessed with the name. So I, the name thing doesn't really bother me, whatever. But it's the understanding and the labeling it. And then I try to uh, come back home. I mean, thank you, thank you mm. for your service. <laughs> so, what, so what, like, is, 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 there, is there something I should do with this now? I should just let it be, let leave it. Well, there, well, you get, there, there's, a, there's a few or... things you get. You could do a, a, a strict Magia binding and go through the the things uh, and you know start with a the name. Then you could look at the different aspects, you know, it, you know, the different things, and then you come up with a, what its real name is when you see it. Um, but you, you know, you draw it out from pictures, the actual um, incident. You know, it's just in a visual representation, and then you kind of look. To other times, this has happened, and how you know that it's it, it it will feel the same. There might be similar incidents. We go, no, that just doesn't seem to fit. There'll be a thing, and then you just look at it, and and you know you don't try to work it out. You don't yeah. try to um, solve it. You just allow whatever it is to to reveal. And what if you're anything like me? It'll be suddenly when you're out walking a dog or something like that where you just go, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had yeah, I had one of them the other day. Alright, yeah, walking home, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, do you know why you're so? Oh no, I can't say that word. Do you know why you're so happy? See you next Tuesday, <laughs> spud, <laughs> lately. <laughs> and other spud went no, and uh, he says spud has to die. And I went yeah, I know, yeah, but I'm not ready for that then. Yeah, and he said yeah, you're not. Okay, all right. No, but it's, it's the ego dead thing. It's the well, ego it's, it's also, thing. I was thinking about this last night, too. it's also that. the reading, the photo <clears throat> of reading that uh, we did. Exactly, yeah, yeah, the, that the, too that as well. Thing yeah. Where, yeah, oh, you have to let go entirely a spud for that thing. Yeah, that's fun. That's easy to do. That's that's not, uh, you know. They can do that on a Tuesday. Just let go of spud. It's fine. And everything yeah. you ever thought he was. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like because the first thing you, the first thing I think of anyway is like okay well how many how many different spuds are there like because you know me as this spud the listeners know me as that spud you know parents, I've met other, I've met, know a, I've met other you've spuds. met other spuds yeah. <laughs> parents and siblings know me as someone else someone else knows me as someone else it's just like ah jeez but then again you're none of them anyway so just let them all go and yeah mm. it's um yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a wishy-washy or too esoteric on it, but it's just kind of... Uh, um, uh, what's the words I'm searching for? Um, if something is different, if something... I'm not saying explain this properly. If all of these different parts are... What was that? Oh, uh, me trying to... <laughs> You're onto something there, Spud. That's yeah. something. I have this um, one. I, ha- I have this thing, and I keep forgetting to do it. It's like whenever you say something really good, I meant to do this. Really? <laughs> 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 so oh, that's genius! <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's oh, savage! Yeah. Everyone, everyone, go watch the video for that. Don't be listening to the podcast. Go get, a bit, get the video. Um, so if, if, say, for example, there's like a central part and all the waves that come out are, are the different parts of the spud, then where does the wave come from? It doesn't come from anywhere. So there is no real spud at the end of it. But like, I still I still like to think of the way that Sadgur put it, like just put on and off the different hats as they're needed kind of thing. So Yeah, I, I struggle like, with that kind of thing. Uh, like, I, mean, I remember that video I did in the Cool Castle where it's going, am I anything more than just an, an amalgamation of other people's ideas and thoughts? And I never, I never like, yeah, I suppose I never got to the full conclusion of of that, in a, you know, until I came across the, the properly the non dual stuff and realised mm. yeah, everyone's been saying that for years. You know, that's not a new discovery by Tommy. But <laughs> it, it's like it's well, I suppose it's that difference uh, that you have. Uh, I suppose between the non dual, the Buddhist, which is non dual, and then the the yoga stuff that we talked about before, where that the uh, Pantanjali and Sandeep Limbs Yoga and all that stuff would suggest that there is an actual 
distinct self at the end of it, whereas Buddhism and non dualism is not isn't. Um, but I, I like I I I've had a sense of a self that isn't this thing, but I've also had a non dual sense as well. So I I, I don't mm. know what, what what my my well, answer is. Hmm. I don't know. I'd I'd be leaning towards. Uh, no, I'd be leaning towards that there isn't, but that you can be whichever one you kind of want to be, depending on the situation you find yourself in. Now, thing is, is that because we're so used, obviously, we're used to our own bodies and our own voice or voices in our heads, so you quite easily and quickly identify with that. Like maybe that's the whole thing about like you know when kids come online, kind of mm, yeah, <laughs> the Louis C.K. thing when he's pooing on someone's <laughs> okay. his neighbor's garden that's his first memory is it there yeah. but like you know like like my young one's about three so she's not online yet like yeah, she yeah. won't have any she has memories but she, but when she's older none of her earliest memories will be from now kind of thing so uh, I lost my train of thought there now what was it yeah saying? so you should just talk about the, the is there an inherent how self how did I lose like, that uh, yeah so like so, so yeah yeah that, that's what I was sorry I was leading to that there um uh, so when she does kind of come online at four, it's because she has started to identify with what are her memories and biases and stuff like that. You know, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. She, like she, she, she's she's taking that bit from <laughs> mommy. She's taking that bit from dad. That thing, exactly. and she's yeah. So, could, you know, now, yeah. So like now she's <clears throat> not egoless. She, she definitely has a fucking ego. But <laughs> she, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she, um, uh, she hasn't formed this sense of as as strong a sense of self as what like an adult or or, or her brother has and he's only mm. a couple of years older kind of thing so yeah I'm still pointing at that ego debt and even like I've spoken before as well like I don't particularly believe in ego debt because you need your ego to get out of bed in the morning like mm. otherwise you just lie there just going yeah well what's the point like you know because I'm, I'm, one, well, I I'm the, right, one with the, God anyway um, <laughs> Gary Weber kind of thing is that is that uh, given that the ego debt is like you get rid of it's all about bandwidth, and that you get rid of all the bleh and yeah. the, your dad and your mom and your auntie and your school and all that. And but yeah, then yeah, what's yeah, left yeah. is the I have to get out of bed. Okay, get out of bed. And yeah. you know I have a decision to make about my business, and it you're making sure. it without dad, sure, mommy, sure, sure, you know, sure. teacher. Blah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's as well like the kind of Ram Dass or, or or Rupert Spira thing about like you know everything is just kind of the now or the moment anyway. So like if if you try and Try and appreciate that every moment is a new moment. Yeah, it's a gift. Then it's the then, present. Well, yeah, okay, well, yeah, every, yeah, it's a present. It's a present. Oh, that lovely. Um, so then, why are you carrying all your old baggage? Because you don't need it. So I mean, you yeah, don't need yeah, yeah, it. yeah. But the, I suppose the thing is, what well, what is it that carries that across? You know what I mean? There, there's some sort of continuity, or at least there's and there's responses. Of course, it's only seemingly. It's not real. Uh, this continuity, because of course. You weren't a person you were seven years ago, but some parts of me was. You know, there's definitely parts. No, no, no. no. I I, I still Mm. think no, no, no. I think that. Why would you carry it? You carry it across because your body wants you to be ready for situations. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like okay, this thing happened. Something similar like this happened twenty years ago. I know what to do. It's like take these vaccines. You know what I mean? You take it once so that you're ready for something that might happen in 30, 40, 50 years time or whatever. You know, (laughs) I think that's or take seven (laughs) days. <clears throat> I think that's what it is anyway. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's um, there's an interesting yeah, when I, I get look, to that. I, 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 I try and do it as as much as I can. Like if I'm mm. in a thing and something's happened, I I try and say, this is everything is new. Treat everything as as if it's new. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, okay. Now, <laughs> if you're driving on the motorway. You know, you're doing 140 kilometers an hour. Then <laughs> don't don't treat that. How do I drive? I've never learned to drive. <laughs> what is it? <this? laughs> don't do that. All right, yeah, yeah. don't do that. Because you have the muscle memory. That's 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 inside you. You know how to drive. <laughs> but like, it, like even things like when when you meet a friend that you've met a hundred times before, still treat every moment. Still treat the, the 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 meeting as a new thing and 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 and. Get to know each other even a bit better, or something like yeah, that. You know, yeah, yeah. And, 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 kinda... and, and and if something comes up about like something that's like a, a bad topic or politics, and I'm guilty of it, it comes up every now and again when you, especially when you beer and you. But if something comes up, don't treat it like, don't bring your bias. Try and tr- not. 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Try yeah, not to bring your bias to it. Yeah, and, Try and, and the, see it as an as Actually, a listen you know? to what the conversation is or what the person is saying rather than immediately go, oh, we're talking about vaccines. Right, here's all I have to say about vaccines. What, what's this person actually saying? What What, what is the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's hard. I'm not a no, fucking guru around like that. I can't be giving advice to anyone, but th- these are just things I try to do to make life a little yeah. bit easier. And more entertaining. <laughs> There's a good kind of practical thing on that as well. I remember when I was learning Reiki, whenever it was, yeah. 40, 40 million years ago, and uh, the teacher was saying that what happened was that she fell into a thing where she got too familiar with her clients. And that, so rather than putting on the uniform and doing the whole thing, that she just, you know, she put on the jeans, she said, it's only Sarah, it's Grant, she comes every week yeah. or whatever. And what she found is people stopped coming because part of it was seeing you know, was coming to the person who in the uniform doing the whole thing. And it was like, as soon as, so that it, it, it's like, it's been treated like, because you stop thinking of it as new each time, you know, it was just that this kind of familiarity. And that, that, that was interesting. Yeah. That, yeah it's, look, it's worth, it's worth trying. Cause I've only, I've only started trying recently, but I think it's worth trying just as a kind of thought experiment. I don't know, next time you go into work, just stay right. Pretend it's your first day or something. Mm. So, you know, just, 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 even, just even play with it in your head and see, see how much you're, your day kind of changes because of that. Yeah, you know? I also just have a mind game years ago. Was I would pretend that I was like, um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is funny that, that this came into my head. I'm doing a blog post at the minute. It'll, it'll actually make more sense right now. But that I that I've have just arrived, like I'm an alien or an angel, yeah. or, and I've just yeah. arrived into Tommy. And you kind of have to right. Tick's got stuck. What's going on here? And, you know, and approach <laughs> it from that kind of like. All right, if someone <laughs> just was presented with this problem right now. What, what you know? Uh, how, would they, how would they have quantum leap? It? You're saying yeah, something like that. Leap. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, so uh, you know, and, and sometimes you go, well, you know, you can go. Well, uh, the, the answer is pretty obvious. You know, just do the fucking thing. You know, cut the grass. That's uh, your problem here. You know, and sometimes you can go, yeah. Well, uh, well I'm I'm out of here. It's, it's on you, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, go back to my planet. Um, yeah. So it is like I think it, it's it's a good. It's hard. I mean, it's hard when you're ha- literally yes, having sir. the same argument with the person, though. You know, and you can go, oh, well, hold on. Yeah. But it's probably that's probably the best time to do it. You know. Right, what are you actually uh, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It probably is the best time because if you're arguing with someone, you know, a wife, girlfriend, <laughs> brother, whatever. Yeah, the usual. You're, you're, so, the usual bias has come back. You know what I mean? Yeah. The bias has come back very fucking quickly because your mind is, your mind's all about winning. I have to win, I have to win. But just try and be like, no, hold on. Wait. Yeah, yeah and am I actually on? arguing about, you know, you not making me a cup of coffee or am I arguing because, you know, Something you did three months ago, and I didn't she let it go. Or whatever. Coffee. No, she doesn't. Lucky God, bastard! She doesn't. Jesus Christ! The, the coffee maker. Imagine me. if I asked mine for a cup of coffee, I get a cup across the side of the head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't really. Well, that's she's going yeah. to be annoyed now. She's listening. <laughs> Sorry, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Love, 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 love. She would. She would make the coffee, <laughs> but she she'd make sure you know she's not happy about it. <laughs> there Put you some go. Tabasco in it when you're not looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't take milk, yeah, or coffee. Here's some hot water. <laughs> ah, look, they keep us on our toes, don't they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, what time would you? Do, well, we're a bit early, I suppose, to talk about this other thing, aren't we? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Should we go for it? It's all tied in, anyway. So. Yeah, go for it. It's uh, no thanks for that, man. Thanks because no I, 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 honestly, I wouldn't have seen that. I really, okay. really wouldn't have put that 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 together because I, I would like the way I left the, left the blog post was like, you know, like should I expect this one to turn up again or or what? Like I, I, I don't think <laughs> I'm going to so. suggest yes. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't think so. I think it's moved. I think that whatever it's changed into like the, the, the Patrick Harper thing. I think mm. it's changed into whatever. You know? I don't know. You're going to see rosary look, beads I, I, on the I, ground or something. <laughs> no, I used mass to, cards I used to, or something. I, I, I used to annoy myself by kind of saying, like, why have I never seen a ghost? I believe in ghosts. Why have I, I never see, seen I've, a ghost? I've only seen the mother of God three times, but why not a ghost? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Because, like, I mean, he's a fucking idiot. How come he's seen a ghost? That's not fair, like, you know, I'd like to see a ghost. But so uh, maybe this thing, this... Mm, whatever the fuck it is going on behind the curtain mm. of reality and it manifests as something that you're identified with or curious about or whatever. Or can understand. It's just like, Isn't it? Not or can understand. It, yeah. yeah, maybe it's just like, you know, I suppose you won't get ghosts because you're tick, right? Yeah. So here's here's Mary. Or right? you, you you'll make an is. absolutely wrong <laughs> assumption. Like if you see Mary, well, it's, you know, the connotations corresponds all, you know what that is, it's divinity thing. But if you see a ghost, uh-huh. go, oh, hold on, there's bad guys or there's, you know, 
creepiness or you know you can you know you wouldn't get divinity straight from it you'd get scooby-doo possibly or you know like scared or <laughs> if you're seven yeah. like what are you gonna get from it like yeah, yeah jesus so, when you're seven you yeah. fucking shit yourself though if you saw a ghost wouldn't you so i'm kind of happy i didn't see a ghost back then yeah probably did though and probably we've I just probably decided something though, else yeah. you know um, yeah I, like i mean I'm, i am I certainly i have had things where i think about stuff where i go oh, hold on i that might not be what I think it is, you know, and then kind of yeah. try to unpack it. And like, it might, it might also not be, <laughs> you know, the blessed Virgin Mary either, but it's, it's something that I'm not allowing. I'm not looking at, you know, mm. and so it's strange. So the blog post is on spudmurphy.net. Isn't that what it is? Spudmurphy.net. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you go, I'll, I'll link it in the show description book because <laughs> at the minute Spud's website's a bit wonky and it doesn't appear on the front page. I, I assume that's a category or tags issue that, that, it's just only listing certain tags or something. No, it, 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 yeah, the, the thumbnail doesn't appear on it. If you click on the, I think there's one of the titles, Wisdom. If you click on that, that'll bring you to the blog. Yeah. It's because, just uh, the only the reason blog. why I mention that is because the, uh, there's other, he's written, he's written, Spud has written a number of things, but uh, I'll link the exact one in the, in the show description. I'm getting really yeah, good I'm at trying, that. I'm actually I'm getting good try, at putting I'm stuff in I'm going to try and, good. That, that's good, Tommy, because people... people <laughs> well done, well done, me. Well no, done, me. Well done. Uh, yeah. uh, no, Spending I'm trying five to minutes of my week. life to actually say or do what I say I'm going to do. It's <laughs> fantastic. I'm going to try and do one a week. stick to one a week because it's, it's nice to, to write about these things and to get it out. Even though I was nervous about this one, I was afraid of... Yeah, well, it's an interesting. It's inspired me too because I, I'm going. I know because you were talking about we were going to do some Substack stuff or maybe some newsletter stuff yeah. for me, kind of. Then I said, well, maybe just build up our blog posts, our blogs instead. Um, so it's then it's going. I completely understand the um, nervousness around posting that because I used to get that from doing blogs. You know, I used to be yeah. saying, "Oh God, people think I'm mad," and I don't do that anymore. <laughs> particularly around my HGA stuff, which is the, what the blog post going to be. Um, so it, it's, yeah, I want to get back to that. Also, because I feel I'm kind of holding back a bit with the HGA stuff around people and being like the whole point of the Adventures in Movie blog was to talk about all this stuff. Uh, good, bad, you know, the experience going through it. And then if, you know, I've stopped talking about certain things. So taking a leaf from Mr. Spud, I'm, I'm going to start talking about these things again. Um, yeah, very woo though. There's some woo stuff coming. <laughs> It's it's all it's well, almost too woo for me. I have to say, it's good. You know, you, you know. So that's it. So I'm getting to the point where oh, I don't want to publish this. Then you should. Yeah, but you know, come here. That's that's, you know, that's delete it later. Feeling woo might but might delete later. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those four fucking pillars, isn't it? The courage thing. Just all right. Just face your fear. Fuck mm. it. Do it. Yeah. Do you know, and then deal with the consequences bravely as well. By deleting it. <laughs> by, by, yeah. And by going, I'm never, po- by turning the comments off or not posting it to Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Aye. Right, let's do it. Right. Dying to Know, Randass and Timothy Leary, 2014 documentary, which I said was on Netflix. And when I went to watch it, wasn't on Netflix, of course. Yeah. Netflix is this wonderful thing of that you'll put in the title of something and it'll go, oh yeah, search. You click it and they go, no, we don't have it. Then why is yeah. it in your search? I hate, you know, I hate that. <laughs> Randas coming home is still on Netflix, uh, UK and Ireland. If anyone wants to watch it, yeah, that one is still good. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's, it's a sad cent- one, isn't it? That's very a sad. sad. That's a sad. It is yeah. very sad. Yeah. yeah. And Aga was saying that because Aga was saying we can, we can, we can, because she, she, she liked this one and she said, um, oh, we should watch the other one. I said, yeah, I've watched it. And she was, she was looking at it. The rev- she was like, the review is really bad. I was like, nah, it's, it's really good. It's, yeah, yeah, it's quite it's really sad. sad. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, Poor Ramdas. I really like him. I wish he is a new. He he has his. A relatively new autobiography that um, he, one of his main students reads as well. So I'm going to get that um, oh, and add it to the list of the 60 other books that are in front of me. <laughs> um, so this uh, is essentially the story of two Harvard professors who take loads of drugs <laughs> and uh, the end. So uh, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> so it's um, Richard Alpert. Is that how you pronounce that? Al- yeah, I always want to say Alpert. Alpert, yeah. Alpert and uh, Timothy Leary. And Richard Alpert's actually Timothy Leary's boss in Harvard. And they kind of get into trying to see if you could use LSD as a kind of way to, you know, as a spiritual awakening, one thing, but also as a kind of a, a medication in, you know, to try and heal people and stuff like that. But in a very scientific sense, you know, it wasn't about, you know, everyone taking drugs. And, he, and Timothy Leary, very much over his, his life, made a point that he doesn't think it should be freely available, that, you know, set and setting. 
uh, is very important. And that whole notion of when you, you do any kind of psychedelic stuff now, where uh, uh, even the, 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 the newer stuff, where you know you have the actual medical people doing it, the set and setting is the, the, the key ingredient yeah. to, to, to it. So we have definitely have Timothy Leary to thank for for, for that. <laughs> like he, he says he's seen 2,000 kids, at least at one point in the 60s, he's seen 2,000 kids. Um, Episode of people taking LSD, so I'm sure he's seen a lot more things. So he's, he's, he's and I'm sure he's taken an awful lot himself. Um, so there's two guys anyway. There, there, there's a uh, it starts out it's totally legal at the time, it becomes illegal quite quickly, and they get um, they get in trouble because they, they, they didn't keep it within the scope of the remit. I'm trying to think because he he. How he got to Harvard, I, I thought was interesting because okay. I can't find the name of the bloody book here. Um, John Higgs he, is a book against the, or, or on Timothy Leary, hasn't he? I think. Am I, am I thinking has he? Yeah. I, I, um, yeah. Let me check. So that. yeah, he was just uh, did, did done his PhD or whatever in psychology, and he had written a, a, um, a kind of classification system for psychologists for when they have like new patients or whatever. Right. And this was groundbreaking. This was brilliant. Oh yes, everyone loved yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was offered the. the he did like a personality Harvard. test or something. Is it like that? Was, yeah, and he yeah, came yeah. up with this thing that was amazing and brilliant, and is apparently, according to the film, is still used today. Like I don't know yeah. what it is. I presume. Is it like the Big Five thing? Is it, is it like probably? A, yeah, it's gotta yeah, be yeah, like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm trying to find the name of the book here, but like he won prizes. Wouldn't did, did they say he won? Not Pulitzer. One of the big. Uh, American uh, writing prizes right. because of this anyway so it was used an awful lot and like, yeah. like he could he could have sat on he could have sat on that for the rest of his life yeah, and he could yeah. have just expanded on it and done 10 more books about the same subject diving more deeply into it but <laughs> being the bit of a rogue that he was he yeah. discovered hello no I'm a research scientist yeah, I'm yeah, allowed yeah. to get psilo psilo psilocybin mm. hey um um Anyone want to get some psilocybin with me? <laughs> well, it was mescaline. Uh, mescaline is, the, is what the, the, the first went for, isn't it? Right. I didn't start on mescaline, was it? Yeah, yeah. Mescaline. So. Mescaline, I don't know. I, I've never heard of anyone taking mescaline over here. I think it, I know Hunter Thompson was big into it, but mm. it seems to it's be just, an American. You just can't get it. It's Mexican, isn't it? It comes from the... Is it the no, that's peyote I'm thinking of. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's it's just... You can't get it here. You know, it can't be sourced here. But sure. I don't know. Cocaine, the cocaine can't be sourced in Ireland. Well... You know, can't grow it now, but you can certainly get it. You can't so. grow it. You can, you can definitely yeah. source it. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely source it. But yeah, the guy on that, Andrew Wheeler, gets interviewed in that. He's an interesting kind of a guy. Um, he is very much, like, he's obviously a doctor, and he, but he's very much into uh, eating for health and, you know, good health, whatever. And he's, he became kind of, in a sense, I suppose, an Oprah darling, one of these people, or he's on... Um, Dr. Oz, which I've never watched, but I assume is awful given by the memes, <laughs> the, the thing. I'm just I'm sure it's a terrible woo thing. But um, he's a YouTube Dr. channel. Phil. Do, you yeah. the, do you remember the, do you remember bum fights? Do you remember bum fights? Oh, yeah, I remember, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Go on, explain that. Uh, he, he went on to uh, Dr. Phil one time and he got his hair cut, like yeah. Dr. Phil, like, you know, the bald, the shaved. The stuff on the side, Krusty the Clown look. Uh, and more like the, the same moustache and then it's the same suit. posture. Yeah, 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 and like Dr. Phil is like, you know, who do you think you are exploiting uh, uh, poor people who don't know what they're on about for money? And he's like, I do the same thing as you. And got kicked <laughs> yeah. off the show. Yeah. Fucking yeah. gene. Dr. Phil's not a doctor, you know that. Well, he's, he's not He's not, not a doctor. psychologist. He's a like a Bachelor of English or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Some sort of thing. Yeah. Don't be calling yourself a doctor if you're not a doctor. Or, unless you buy it. Like, Well, no, call yourself a doctor if you're not a doctor because you're an actual doctor, but don't pretend you're a medical doctor. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which he obviously does. Yeah. Anyway. If you have a doctor, um, you get to call yourself a doctor, but you know, not a medical doctor. Um, the John Higgs Jesus. book, by the way, is I have America surrounded, and so if any, I haven't read it, but John Higgs is amazing. You should. Yeah, uh, John Higgs is amazing. Look, I know I know a bit about Timothy Leary. I didn't know. I'm glad I glad I watched this because I, I I I knew a whole lot more now because his name pops up an awful lot. Count yeah, and and I think people can confuse him with a, a few other people. He gets confused. I see an awful lot with your man, uh, Mister Nice. You know that the cocaine dude. What, oh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, yeah, people yeah. mixing him up a lot with that kind of, which I understand. You know, oh, he's the drug guy. You know, so right, okay, fair enough. Um, but uh, yeah, he's the tune in. What is it? I always get this wrong. Tune in, drop out. Tune in. Get the radio station, make sure it's the white Turn in. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Turn oh. on, tune in, cop that's out. It. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the song from uh, Fatboy Slim from years ago. Remember that one? 
It's not Fatboy yeah. Slim. It's his other band. It's not Fatboy yeah. Slim. Somewhere yeah. else. But he is it. No, he is it. He is. Yeah. It is Fatboy Slim as a different name. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Turn on tune and drop out. Yeah, there it is. Um. Yeah, but like he the, the, the stuff in, in like he, he goes in front of Congress to try and um convince them like you know this stuff is this stuff is really good and 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 should be used in a medical setting yeah. setting mm. and they're like so like you don't think it should be you know you're against it as a as as a you know rec- rec- recreation drug is like, yeah yeah I'm totally against it it's like, yeah yeah well paraphrase I'm totally against it it should only be done in certain s- settings and it's like. Oh, I wonder how different the world would be if he had it won. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wonder because it's all coming out. Like, it, 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 there's that fantastic fungi. Is that what's called? There's the new Netflix yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. It's Paul Stamets, based Stamets, basically, it's his document. He's in almost all of it. All of it, yeah. Like, Andrew like Wheel's in it as well, incidentally, as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some. Sh- there are some shots used in this. That were also used in in the film. Oh, is so? Fungi right, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we only watched it at the weekend, and they're the stock ones of the mushrooms growing. And they're like, oh, I can't right, imagine yeah. mushrooms. Why did they use them? But anyway, um, the, the medical evidence now is just too big to deny. Like this stuff. Sure, and it's, it's uh, psilocybin treatment is illegal in Canada. Now. So as far as I know, like you can. So it's that's the start, and it's definitely going to happen. It's, it's no question about it that it will yeah. be. But it will be set. You know, it's not. It's I. I don't think mushrooms should be, you know, you shouldn't be able to buy it in the, your local spa by any stretch. But I, can, I think if you can, I, I, you know, like, go to, like, somewhere where you can have, like, a, you know, a people, doctors, <laughs> or someone to, like, guide you through, you know, the setting settings, some sort of official thing. A bit like, I suppose, the ayahuasca stuff when it's done right, you know, rather yeah. than, you know, that you have someone, go through, yeah, I think it would be, I'd, I'd certainly sign up for that. God, yes. so if only, yes, if, only, if, only, if only, if only I had a building in the countryside where I could bring people <laughs> on such trips. Maybe yeah. there'd be some horses. Maybe. Yeah. I can imagine Holy you're in the you're in the middle you're middle of oh yeah, and then you open your eyes, there's a horse. Hello <laughs> 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 It was great it was great that the horses arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happened if how ma- warn people about yeah. the horses before before be had. Imagine how big a dose horses might need. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, you'll always find them around horses and sheep well, as well. The, yeah, it's so, the, the poo, though, isn't it? Horses yeah, my, my dad told me that and I kind of raised an eyebrow at him and he just went, huh. <laughs> 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 All right, I didn't want to talk about that. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, did you read um, the Michael Pollan book, How to Change Your Mind? Did you ever read that one? No. That's, that's worth your time, man. That's him as very much a journalist and somewhat sceptic going, right, I'm going to look into mushrooms and psychedelics and DMT and ayahuasca and... His, his right. whole journey. He gives away Paul Stamets' uh, secret hunting ground in it, which uh, Paul Stamets ah, is not happy with. He oh says, no. it's Yeah, he goes, Ah, oh, you've screwed me on that, man. Big time. And he, he he literally does. And so much so that it's um, now, you know, wall, not a wall, but a fence up and everything. You can't get anywhere near it's a particular <laughs> type of mushroom. And he's like, Oh, no, fuck you. <laughs> um, for fuck's sake, that's awful. We were out yesterday look, looking for mushrooms. So they're, they're, they're getting to that time of year when they, uh, I mean, normal. Ones, not the psilocybin okay. ones. Um, yeah, you, can yeah, see you see people out. With, see see people out with their little um, what do you call reed baskets, uh, going into the mountains and forests. I'd, lo- I'd love to um, find a chicken in the woods. That's just meant to be gorgeous, and I've never had it. But um, even if I didn't you know see it, I, I wouldn't I risk it because there's <clears> one that looks very similar to it that killed you. You know, so. you know I've I've seen it and I didn't pick it because. People I was with were saying, "No, you can't eat it," and I was convinced that you can't eat it. But like, well, I saw turkey tails yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But you can't. You can eat them, but there's no great taste off them. But they are. Well, you can eat them, but also you have to eat them with a certain time. There's a certain rule with them as well that if they're too brown or too liney, then they're too oh, far there... gone and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, you can see. Stuff. I see them a lot in that forest I go to. You can see that an awful lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm, always, I'm wary of the stuff that grows out of the dead, like the. The, the bark. trunks of trees mm-hmm. and, and, and branches and stuff because it's like that's growing or something dead that's I don't yeah. like the idea like the ones that pop out of the ground I'd feel much more like, like the, the one the that, puff puff I put balls, one on Instagram mm. yeah puff balls go quickly though don't they I, like, there's one yeah. I put on Instagram was as big as my head like oh yeah I see that yeah that's oh the Jesus you know? yeah the puff balls They're, are really nice as well but you have to make, you have to open every one of them before you put them in the pan because uh, insects really like them uh, so okay. they're, they're, they're lovely like I mean well they're, they're very similar to Mushrooms you get, but there, there's a, a nice kind of consistency. Uh-huh, okay. 
Nice. Um, <laughs> We've gone over a weird tangent here. Yeah, well, yeah. well yeah. tangent there. Yeah. Get back back to this. There's something I really liked about about the connection between the two lads, and it's fairly early in the in the film. And I don't know which. I think Leary says it, not Ram Das. I, I think he says that like these were all beings that know many forms. Me, yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. thought that was lovely. You know, it's yeah. kind of like, and then Ram Das went on more where it's like, yeah, it's kind of like you know we're. Um, I have to paraphrase and I don't remember everything but he's like it's kind of like you know pe- people come into carnate or people are carnated and they they know each other and love each other and then they're gone but it's he says like with me and you it feels that like we've known we know each other in kind of longer yeah. and other ways and thought yeah. that's fucking lovely Do you know yeah it is but it's also interesting that theory uh, Leary kind of has a thing as well at some point where he's going when you die you die too you know like he there's seems to, he seems to I don't know uh, so I think he's just, just keeping it open to everything else. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. I think he's open to all bits. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so they get in trouble at the one point, though. So, and um, he <clears> becomes <throat> target number one. Well, it's, I suppose it's, it's later in the 60s. That he, <laughs> but he, he claims <laughs> that a policeman put uh, drugs in his car. And uh, there's a lot of claims of that. So, you know, the, the Beatles <laughs> also say the same thing that um, John Lennon said the same that that would happen. And George Harrison. Uh, there was a guy in England who was going to, uh, who was a cop who was late, a detective who was later done and found guilty of putting um, drugs, planting drugs on rock stars. So you know, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. There, there, there is a so there's, there's a precedent for that sort of thing. But either way, no matter what, he was he, he was you know he was anti-establishment in, in that way, and it wasn't it wasn't going to be let happen, I suppose. So even if it wasn't, he he probably would. He, he actually went to prison because of trance porting drugs is not what his actual thing yeah. was so he did get caught ultimately doing something he shouldn't have been doing so Ted Leary that is they had the that to your man you mentioned the weird guy was it that, that's his surname isn't it wheel yeah, wheel, yeah. wheel wheel he's yeah. the one who rat, ratted them out I thought that was mad yeah 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 but but yeah I suppose his point was like what what do I do here you know what I mean like it's like I'm not saying you know the answer is you don't rat them out that's the actual answer but um <laughs> But yeah, I, can, I understand his train of thought. And he obviously gets on with them well enough that he was interviewed in in the in, in the, the maybe not. Like he he's he's an interesting guy in in that I, the, that he's like in his eighties and, and looks like in the sixties. So the is he, he talks, is that old? No, it, but not in that, not in that because it's two thousand fourteen, yeah. and I think some of the stuff. So he's definitely in his seventies in that in that thing. Yeah, so like he looks he's very vibrant yeah. and um, things. So I think it's like well, the, put the, the, on, on, they must get on because on one of the books. Book titles that they sh- that they did show Ramdas had done a, a forward for him, well, there you or else go. it's there the other way, or else he'd done one for yeah. Ramdas. I don't one of them anyway. So they must yeah. go on. But like, well, so they were doing these, they were doing the experiments in Harvard, and basically, what <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. They sent them off to Good Friday. Well, it's not mass on a Good oh, Friday. Yeah. The Good Friday service, like yeah. off their heads on syllabus. <laughs> <laughs> like you would totally be like if you went to good like Good Friday service is really theatrical. It's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know, yeah, that of Jesus, but, like it's, it's what, bad. <laughs> in my my little village, whatever, a thousand people or whatever it was, like we still had four or five people get up on the altar and act it out, kind of thing. Oh, right, someone was okay. Punch's pilot, and then someone was Jesus, and then the Punch's pilot would change into Peter, kind of thing. But th- th- it was great. Like if you saw that on mushrooms, you'd just yeah, be like. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this for real. Like I'm 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 sticking with this like forever. <laughs> what was the you know, quote? He says it was Good Friday, but it was the greatest Friday ever. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine. Yeah. It's so fucking be mental. But um, what happened was they had they had the one they had this one really strict rule with the with the with the experiments and that like no undergraduates could be given drugs. Yeah. None of them. So you all had to have you all had to be um. Uh, have graduated, but you're still kind of been, you're a tutor or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. You're still and, hanging um, about college for some yeah. reason. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so one undergraduate got in when the lads weren't fucking paying much attention, and this made it onto the front page of the newspaper, which is what your man Wheel was the editor of, and he released the newspaper, blew up. Uh, Leary gets fired. Sorry, Ram Das gets fired. And Leary quits in solidarity, and uh, and then they go on their divergent paths. Then, well, no, eventually, because they end up moving in together and all in that madhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, that looks like a, <laughs> that looks like a where did smash all of uh, Ram Dass' <laughs> antiques? Because I, I should have just sold them. 
Why, what was I thinking? Just sell them. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. smash them. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, they, they, they continued their kind of research and stuff. And yeah. being... the, the, is it at this point that um, Richard heads off to India or does he hang around for a while? Still, Do, No, they're or... around. They're in the house for a while, aren't they? And they're going around giving lectures and obviously writing books and continuing the research as best they can kind of thing. But... Uh, yeah, it must have been fairly great because he, there's he, an in, in, sorry, there's an interesting thing as well that when people are talking about um, <clears throat> Richard Alpert at the time before he's ran that, that they kind of they don't say great things about him. God, oh, I find him really awkward and weird to be around, and it was just he didn't seem comfortable in who he was, and you know, just one of those people that you know you just didn't want to be around. And I was going, that's mad that they, you know, like, it is mad, isn't it? Yeah, but I suppose it's then to add to. The Ram Dassness and that he became who he was meant to be in and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you see Ram Dass on videos now. You're just like I, 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 I would do anything for a, a cuddle from that man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's so full of love. Just, just, yeah. just, just one hug. Just, just, just three sec, five sec, <laughs> five seconds, uh, five yeah. more, five more. Please, love me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so not um, someone, not someone you would ever go. Always oh, looks really awkward. It wouldn't be around. No, him, you know. God, no, 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 no. But they say that this. To the, he, 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 he puts it well how their kind of friendship. Well, I don't think the friendship end, ended, but the, the 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 relationship, the closeness between them, um, kind of faltered when 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 Ramdas went off to India. He said something like, "Look, he, Leary was a visionary and a revolutionary." But the revolutionary parts of him started to cost too much because he was mm. he was too against the government. He was too yeah, yeah, yeah. against other things, you know. And Ramdas is trying to clean up all the messes and get money so they have rent and 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 and, and, and or so they have money to continue research. And, and he's also like looking after Leary's kids and stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and so, he's like um, like what the, the thing is, wife kills herself on his thirty fifth birthday after she finds out he's had an affair. Uh, oh Christ. Jesus Christ. Wow. What do you do with that? And then his daughter kill, like, killed herself then later as well. Like, like, uh, 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 he he didn't he uh, Leary didn't have a didn't have a great life, you know. He, he probably had a lot of fun. He did have a lot of fun, but it didn't seem like he had a at, great At a ball. cost, yeah. Uh, and a bit about Reagan, I'm looking at here. He ran <laughs> against Reagan as California governor, which is fucking hilarious. Fair play to him. And, uh, I think and a different the world would be if he had a one uh, rather than Reagan. So. I'm sure he wouldn't last. He'd never have had a, had a chance at all. Like, but, uh, And then Nixon made sure to get him on his second inauguration wasn't it you're inaugurated twice aren't you so I think it would have been on the second one to have this big thing of catching the most dangerous man in the world or whatever title he had given him which yeah. is uh, the B666 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh, interesting lad really interesting and yeah and I mean yeah, the come together the Beatles the John Lennon uh, song on, the, on Abbey Road is the um, the Song that they used for trying to get him to become governor, like that. What's that? The it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Did you know yeah. that? I, I, I heard that I before. That. Yeah, I heard like the, it's that it was like it was come together was Leary's thing, and then he'd been hanging. It's around the, the bed in and all that kind of stuff that Lennon did. I think that uh, comes out. I'm not quite sure now, but there's, there's if no, it can't be because it could be. Yeah, it's it somewhat round then. So it's 1968, 69. Uh, so. Yeah, that's, that's bad, isn't it? Like that, the, all the kind of, like that, that ends up how John Lennon gets on. Um, there's a great uh, documentary about John Lennon about how the CIA tried to get him out of America and becomes one of the not the most wanted man because he obviously didn't do anything wrong, but they're definitely trying to get him exported and exported. <laughs> yeah, you're being exported. Um, but it's all because of his connection with Leary and all the stuff that happened around that, and he, you know his kind of political leanings and stuff. Anyway, I can't remember. What what's it's your? Called. What's your? I was talking to herself about this last night. What's your? Why do you think drugs are banned? Is is it a control thing or is it just that the people just don't know? I I, I, too, you know? I think it's two things. I think it's nanny state in, in that, you know, it's the same reason why 5 HTP and St. John's Ward are banned because something, someone give out about it and just didn't see it. But also I think there's an element of... Yeah, but, uh, but okay, but, but what I mean is that like if, like if you sat down with the person who is responsible for that being banned and says, no, look, actually da 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 do you think they'd be open to it, or is it is it like is it I think, as no, I think conspiratorial that, that, as a no, I don't think it's conspiratorial. Thing, I think I, 
I, I would say that they would go, no, like, come on, drugs are bad. You know, the, 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 you, you know, we shouldn't let people take heroin. I'm, just, I'm not talking about heroin. Yeah, but all drugs are the same. It's that kind of, kind of old school. It'll ruin the world, you know, because you know alcohol's great and it's really, you know, helping the world. Cigarettes don't kill people. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd say it's a number of things. I'd say it's. You know, if you want to get into like big farm, I probably don't want it because, you know, if you can take something that grows in your field and, you know, get rid of your depression, then you're not going to take your your, your Lexapro. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a number of things, any number of things. It, and mm. it, it probably would be because it's demonized and it's, that you weren't allowed to test these things for the last 40 years that they'll just go, well, there isn't enough evidence that this is therapeutical. Like psilocybin is there, there is now, though, isn't there? Like surely there is by now, yeah? But, well, not in when there's 40 years missing from it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot now, but it would be like as if a new drug came out now. I mean, as we know, yeah. yeah, you know, it's, it's, it takes a while. But yeah, I, I, would, I, I think that they can't keep it up forever. Yeah. I think it'll come I mean, to the point. In Ireland, it'll happen because the UK will do it or, you know, America. Well, something. It won't be, Ireland it won't lead on it anyway. But uh, after saying that, Ireland can decide every now and again to be, you know, do things. We see around like LGBTQ, Whatever is the full thing now. Um, this, we were the first one the smoking ban, you know, the gay marriage, the you know, all the equality stuff. So Iron maybe mm. I should give it more credit than what it has. What do you think? Why, why do you think it, it drugs? I, I don't know. Okay. I can't. I can't. I. 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 I hmm. I. I want to believe it's just because people just don't know that. Like, mm. oh, actually, we have this thing and it's great. And if we just give that to people with mental health issues, then that'll fix them rather than filling them up with whatever, Prozac or lithium or whatever the yeah. modern one is, I have no idea. Um, I I want to think it's that. I don't want to think it's a control nanny state thing, really, because I don't particularly think any country's very good at that anyway. Unless, no. except that country where your man has the green book and he proclaims himself a god. T Tajikistan? Is that it? Right, okay. Yeah, He's, yeah. Really, good. He's yeah. really good. He's really good at controlling people. And North Korea too. Um, but we don't live in those yeah. in those places. You know what I mean? We 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 live. And as far in very as as far as I know, the people the people who live in those countries aren't happy. So I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, not, it's not all it's not all great. Like let's say it's not all great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'd like to. But sure, look, what are you going to do? Like, how, how do you how do you how do you open people's minds to these things? Like, you can I can I can give you know my grandparents who would be conservative I can give them all the studies in the world and try and educate yeah. them but you know yourself you bring a horse to water it doesn't mean it's going to drink yeah um, and I mean the response will, will be, I remember having like, oh, back in the day when I used to argue with people on Facebook where he said that paedophilia and drug dealing was exactly the same and they deserved exact, not exactly the same but the equivalent and deserved <laughs> to be put to death and I was going uh, what? Uh, and it was interesting because the guy who was having an argument with at one point would have lived because I was saying, so you think someone who is a pedo or does something pedophilic to a child uh, and someone who sells an aid of hash to his mate, both should be killed. Yeah. And it was funny because I knew him from years ago and at one stage he would have lived in an apartment where 80% of people living there now, according to him, should be killed. <laughs> right. Because of pedophilia. But <laughs> obviously, not, not, not that illegal thing of, of of selling hash to your friends, yeah. it's, and it's like I don't understand it. But that's the kind of level of things that if you allow people, to, if you decriminalise mushrooms, they're going to be outside the schools, putting them in candy bars, giving them to kids. Because that's you know. Yeah, do what I was talking to mates of mine the other day, and I didn't notice across the border in Czech Republic, everyone's allowed to grow two plants each, and so like. Why isn't everyone in Czech growing two plants each? <laughs> you know, I go to Czech quite a lot. Yeah. And, okay, it's easy. To, it, it is e easy. And apparently, it's easy to get weed over there. Not that I would ever know. Um, and um, the... Yeah, the, yeah. Um, someone told like, me. Yeah, someone told me. But, like, mm. yeah, why isn't, like, every window just full of two plants kind of thing? Because, like, like, the moment it's done here, I'll be growing two. Like, just because I'll be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, it's because no, I like growing like, things. Why not? Yeah, I like oh. growing things. You know, my hair, for example, yeah. <laughs> I'm very good at. <laughs> um, but like, why, 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 why wouldn't, why, you know, why, why wouldn't you? You know, if something is, that's what would put me off. 
I mean, not, e- not even to, to get high anyway. There's a million uses of uh, a cannabis plant or a hemp plant. Anyway, apart from... Uh, uh, oh, no, for me, it would be get high, yeah, totally. Yeah. I know, but I mean, <laughs> obviously, obviously that. But it, it, it's the... Um, there's so much things you could do. Like, you could have a great, great weekend. <laughs> Face masks, uh, I like don't know, rope, plant, you know, you can make your own rope, uh, some sort of paper, <laughs> there's plenty of things you can do. Yeah. Two plants is a lot though, like that's probably enough for a person for like a year or more. Well, I assume someone decided that two plants will get you through a year, that's it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know, I have a relative living in a country where you can do it and I asked him, why Why don't you? And he's like, ah, no one else in work does, so like I don't want to be, don't want to be the first well, I suppose the other way of looking at it is just that we're all allowed um, brew beer at home, but we don't do it. You know, you can just buy it. It's easy. That's a pain to arse, though. <laughs> and it's <laughs> rotten tried. as well. Yeah, home brew is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for I this. Did... Can't wait for this. And then you haven't got, yeah, I'm not drinking that. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine it. it takes you three months Hello. to get through your 10 bottles. You go, oh, <laughs> I'm just finishing it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I made, what, 20 litres of cider here one year. By the time we finished it, it, it was. Vinegar, it was apple vinegar, but the end of it. it was horrible. So, it was. <laughs> so anyway, Albert, uh, Richard Albert goes to India and uh, he meets Bagawan, Bagawan, what's his name, Das, is that Bagawan Das? Maharishi. Does he meet the Maharishi too, does he? Yeah. Meets up, yeah. But anyway, he go, he uh, he goes the whole uh, awakening route, essentially. Isn't the whole hog, he gets, yeah. he gets, he gets Chris and the Ram Das, which mm. I think I heard means... Servant of God? Did I hear that properly? I don't know. Let's ask Something like that. God itself, Google. And then he uh, he got back to America and he wrote uh, uh, Be Here Now. Um, which I didn't know, like what you had said last week, was that um, a lot of the stuff is presented as he got these states through meditation where it actually yeah, turned out he, he would have got them from... Yeah. <laughs> LSD, well, I suppose yeah, in his, his defence, I think he did then go to India and like, did the meditation and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's, it's kind of the complaint he, made against would, him. He, is that, is he, that. He would have been fairly primed though, wouldn't yeah, he? Like, yeah, you yeah, know. That, yeah. <laughs> but the, the thing is, you can get into these states through meditation. Like, so it's yeah, not, it's, yeah, but yeah. it's just not, you know, it's not, it's, I suppose it's not as easy as that. That's, that's one way, or it's not, it's not as instant. You can take a load of mushrooms, you can take some LSD and, you know, you can meditate for 20 years or if you're split a year and a half, it's fine. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's, I mean, it's not my complaint against Ram Dass. It's the one I see the people saying that the that, 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 that be here sure, now, yeah. it's all well and good, but, it, you know, you know, it doesn't come with the acid, you know. And uh, But I mean, it, given the, the culture and the, the times that going on, I'm sure people were, you know, aware of, of what, you know, that it wasn't just, you know, that, that whole kind of hippie 60s, the, you know, the... The, what's that big year? The sixty-seven, which is the 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 year of the love year or whatever it is, where everyone was just doing the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm sure it, it, it was, you know, it was in the air. It was all about. It. Well, I don't think it probably came to a shock to an awful lot of people that perhaps Ramdas took drugs, given that he had been in the paper for taking drugs and got fired from Bob <laughs> a few years previous. <laughs> yeah. Um. Did he invent hospices? Is that what they were saying? I don't know. I didn't really, couldn't really follow that. There was, like there was to know before this that you know because it was the the debt because he's, he's going to debt's not that big of a deal and we spent too much time, um, worrying about it. make sure that no matter what you do you keep people alive, and I know I get all that. There's a bit slightly he goes a bit he's a bit seems a bit too callous at the times. So like when, how do you feel about Leary dying? Fine, Fine <laughs> you yeah. Know, yeah, which I understand. <laughs> it's, it's kind of similar to the, the the phone call between Tom Petty and George Harrison. I suppose you know it'll be it's fine, it's grand. He's still yeah. there, you know. I understand this, but yes, yeah, so he's just kind of saying um, the great thing he does say though when he's talking to Leary in, in those interviews, he's going like that's that, that's okay me saying that now, feeling great, feeling you know healthy, and how different it will be if it all changes a year later. He has a stroke, you know. So it, mm. it's it's the um. But I'm not sure that he definitely had some sort of input or, or he had some sort of opinions around uh, hospices anyway, or he's not uh, a direct. I can't imagine. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's. I don't know. I thought hospices yeah. have been around, been around much longer than that. Like, you'd imagine Surely so, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe set up somewhere. He was in some sort of way. He was instrumental in, yeah. in bringing it back maybe. in. Or hospice yeah. care as a, as a kind of a. Either way, we're he was a proponent. He's a proponent of it, anyway. So that's, that's uh, the thing. We're talking about this as well last night. The like the kind of differences between, you know, the whole thing about death not being mentioned and stuff like that. But mm. um, 
like for, for me, big difference between say moving from the country up to Dublin was that like how different death was treated in Dublin. Like, right. you know, your neighbor died and suddenly you don't go to the funeral. It's like, well, I know. Like, of course I go to the funeral. I saw him every day for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah. I talked to him every I single day. Yeah. You know, but in Dublin, like, no, like hardly anyone goes to funerals. It's just like, that's, that blew, fucking blew my mind. Like, you know, and, and then living in cities and all, it's really like, you know, you see a hearse and it's just seen as something that fucking holds up traffic. It's fucking yeah, cause horrible. Yeah, because I mean, if the, if the hearse no. goes, like all funerals in town go through the town because they go from, you know, unless they live beside the church and every shop closes. Everyone who works stands outside. Yeah. Everyone, Proper order, you know, man. Yeah, the whole thing stops. For t- the four seconds it takes the, the car yeah, to Yeah, that's all. Yeah. You know, it's not that big a thing. Just fucking show a bit of respect to mm. one of our fallen brethren, you know. Yeah, and that happens, <laughs> that, that happens in Dundalk too, where I'm from, which is the biggest town. So, I mean, it's 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 interesting that, you know, even in, in that, that it doesn't happen in the city. But I, I know it doesn't happen in the city because I, yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't. I, it might happen in certain kind of, I suppose, areas of it, but as a general rule, there's no one driving a hairstyle on Connell Street. You know, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, but I, I look. I think I think I think Irish people are a bit different with it. With it though, as as you know as well, because like <laughs> we can be a bit more cavalier with death. Because it's like, you know, how many times have you heard like, "Why are you doing that for? Sure, you're a long time dead." Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. it's a, just a great answer. Because sure, why not? Like, I'm going to be yeah. dead soon. Yeah, yeah. for crack. Ah, and um, also, wakes are the funniest things you'll ever be at ever. They're so funny. Like they're so. Like, yeah, wakes. Wakes are. Yeah, just to a point. To a point, and then they get weird. But well, like, yeah. the, the, like the initial kind of um, thing, you'll, there'll be an awful lot of laughing and joking and, and stuff at wakes. Yeah. And, and crack, as as we say here. Yeah. Yeah, most most uh, well, and, and, sandwiches sandwiches and, and sandwiches and biscuits, sandwiches, triangle sandwiches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cheese and onion, or, like, uh, cheese and onion or, or egg salad, or a ham. What, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, Guinness. <laughs> mixing, mixing, mixing with the Guinness in your belly, you know, you're going to have a great day the next day. Yeah, Irish funerals. Um, the, they're a funny one. They're, 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 they're a bit hard to explain to anyone who's never been to one because they're, obviously there's sadness at it. You're saying goodbye yeah. to someone. Now, I'm, I'm talking like a best case scenario where it's an older person who drifted off in their sleep or, or had a short illness or something. I'm not, ta- not talking about a horrific car crash or an unexpected yeah. thing. But obviously they're twinged with, tinged with twinge, tinged with sadness and that, but there's often there's just a lot of crack and fun mm-hmm. and laughing and, do you know, I remember being at, at, at like my nanny's funeral. She lived to be, I don't know, 70 odd, 81, 81. And um, that seems so old back then. Yeah, <laughs> and now you're going, you know, yeah, she was young. She was young to die, wasn't no, she? she? Young, young, eighty, eighty. She's not bad age now, you know. But like now, people are living into their nineties, and anyway, um, or more. And like hearing the stories of like her sisters growing up and the crack they had, like as teenagers, because you're like, you never think your granny is a teenager, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, telling stories of going off to dance at Kayleys and fucking getting chased by young lads and stuff and we're like what yeah. my nanny yeah. <laughs> put their hands on my granny <laughs> you know? like, th- there's th- th- that that's my thing with Irish with Irish funerals is you, is, is actually you getting to getting to know the person a little bit even more than you knew them kind yeah, of thing yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have much experience with them over, over here I've been to a couple but I haven't hasn't been the same and did thing. it do wakes did it or is that uh, 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 they are done, uh, not as often as they used to be done, but right. they are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, see, most people live in flats here. It's just fucking pain oh, in the yeah. arse. Imagine lugging a, yeah, <laughs> sure. a coffin up <laughs> flights yeah. of stairs no, to thanks. sit in someone's small uh, living room. No, it's they, they are done, but not 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 nearly as much. Um, yeah, wakes wakes. They're they're tough enough, like to be in that room. Uh, and people coming in and shaking your hand and all, but like when you try, when you when you when you when you appreciate that people come in and make the effort to say, well, to say goodbye to the person first of all, and but then to also be a, a support for the family, mm. I think it's powerful stuff. I wonder did the three day of the wake thing that we have now, which is I just assume that was universal, but it's absolutely not. Because it ties in with the the supposed death of the energy body or the subtle bodies as well, mm. which takes three days. Yeah. You know, this kind of thing, which is like, so you stay with them, like you have to. The rule is you stay with them until they're, they're buried. Someone that has to be. I know the Jewish have a have a similar thing that you can't leave the body to, um, 
where you can hire people to come and sit uh, with, with yeah. you know, think. But um, it's interesting that it aligns nearly exactly with the purported um, spiritual teaching of, 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 you know, that so your your body dies, but it takes longer for your, your energy or your subtle bodies or whatever to, 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 and it's three days. Or I suppose in the Tibetan one, it's 49 days, isn't it? That what the full bardo is 49 days. That's when it comes back, isn't it? On the 50th day or something, is that right? Well, I know it's funny that the you have to stay one. with them for whatever is. I think it's forty nine okay. days, and the, the, and you, the certain things have to be done. The prayers, whatever, well, and if they don't, Jesus, you're not buried for that long, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. But it's the same, I suppose. Like in you hear some cases of people dying, and it, it's like four or five weeks later in um, the UK and stuff like that. You know, well, I suppose that yeah, depends. Yeah, but they're kept. On, they're, they're, they're at least kept, kept on ice. The fridges, though. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. like, there's, there's a documentary about the Barlows on I think it's on YouTube, and it's like literally the, the guy dies in his bed and he stays in his bed forty nine days, and the, the, the holy Whoa. person comes in or the whatever it is and prays the thing every day and does all that. But if that, if, yeah, but, if, yeah, but if that's what you're yeah. doing, then I'm sure there's there's just certain things that you know that that they you know they're not just going to let the smells you know go through the house or permeate the house there's obviously certain incenses and there's certain yeah, procedures yeah, but if that's what to do then there's procedures for it um, but yeah it, it, it's just kind of because they go a bit about the borrow stuff in the documentary but it, uh, around the kind of death stuff um, so it's one that it's an interesting kind of funerary rites that we have and you know the Egyptian one's mad because like when you you get tested and if you don't know the right answers then you <laughs> could look mate you're out of here you know like and, and or you mm. you know you get your heart your heart has to weigh the same as a feather and all of this kind of stuff and whereas the, you know you kind of have that in the in the Harry Krishna stuff or the kind of the Hindu type stuff that particularly that say George Harrison was talking about in that your whole thing is the preparation for death so that when you die the state you were in is what makes your next thing that, sure yeah th- 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 so you if you know like so if you know you're going to die the whole thing is to you know die in a in a, in a good way so that you, you know you don't end up in hell uh, you know if you die which is crap you get hit by a bus like you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? but so again he was he, that was his thing with like George Simon he was getting stabbed and he's going all right okay hold on maybe this is the end so I better start preparing so he starts chanting he starts you know he starts thinking of god he starts doing all of those things to, to, to you know so because he says i'm like i don't want to come back all that stuff yeah plato plato himself said uh, philosophy is is training for dying yeah yeah so i mean that mad, we, isn't it? yeah but it's it's because <laughs> so that whole thing of that in western culture where we're not allowed to talk about it you know it can't be morbid you can't do any of it so no one's prepared for it but we literally do the opposite of what every other culture has ever done and yeah, spend yeah, their lives yeah. preparing for the thing and, he's, and he as he says it's um you know it's, it's Randas is it's, it's a huge taboo and abs- and it is it's because we don't want to deal with it like it but you know we have to <laughs> you know let, let, let's get better at that please you know? <laughs> yeah. it's one of the two things that's going to happen to you yeah. the other one is being born <laughs> yeah and taxes no. obviously <laughs> yeah. but it's like George it's, it's, it's best to get away from them yeah, yeah. there's that, that kind of thing that death should be celebrated and birth should be mourned and I, I understand that but yeah, in, a, in a sense yeah. I mean it, it's like because it's the release of the death or whatever but if you'll be born you'd be like listen mate you've you've you've, <laughs> you've stuff ahead of you woo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like the the, the, the kind of um, not like I've been looking into it. You know the Orthodox, uh, um, the John and Pajot Christ, stuff. Christian Church. Are you full? Uh, well, they ha- they um, have, watching John and Pajot all the this, time now. All his vlogs. No, I know. Uh, <laughs> they they have this. Um, they have this belief which approximately half of the kind of holy men of the church believe and half don't. Okay. And so it's the same as the Gnostic thing of the seven spheres of influence. Like you hit all of them on the way down into into this incarnation. But yeah. also when you when you die, you're kind of, um, uh, by trying to ascend back up to numero uno, yeah. you can get pulled into the other seven realms, you know? Right. So this is apparently is, is a teaching among half of the Orthodox church, holy men, but among the other half, they're like, no, that that no, no, we're not going with that because right, it's okay. too horrible to think about that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you go through, the, you go through the trials and tribulations of this planet, of of everything that life involves, and then like shit. When I when I when, well, I don't know when I die, I'm, angels are going to be pulling at me to go. Yeah, yeah. No, I no, like no people don't want to know that. But yeah. there's obviously a, tr- a, a a long tradition, tradition and history of, yeah, of yeah, this. Of this stuff, yeah. 
Do you know? Uh, but but, I mean, but and, 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 in, and in Christianity, you do have it uh, in the form of purgatory, which we've also got. Purgatory. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's it too. And it's like, God, I don't know, man. Maybe if, maybe if it was taught, maybe you would be more ready for it when it comes along. Randas says something hilarious and he says like, the so, so some people do their best spiritual work in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> last, I, I, know, yeah, I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I imagine that's very true. Very I true. Fucking yeah. ro- I roared out laughing when I heard yeah, yeah. it. Because, yeah, you know, because that's, that's when the shit hits the fan and you know, you're like, mm. ah, fuck, okay, I'm sorry I did that. I shouldn't have done that. Like, that's mm. ridiculous. Why did I do that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine so. Um, he said so, a lovely thing too about love, love transcending death, which was, which is very nice about love. Okay, what he was saying, I was going to ask, Spud's going to be crying when he hears that. I can just, I can yeah, just feel, yeah, I can yeah, feel it. Yeah, such a softy. <laughs> such a softy. He's like, he goes on about like, look, you know, when you're grieving and, 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 and the moments come in of grief and they're, they're tugging at you uh, and your mind is kind of uh, playing tricks at you about how much you miss them and all, like just, don't fight it. Just have it, enjoy yeah. it, and live with it. But then, when your when your mind uh, quietens down, like the grief isn't there, but the love still is. And I'm like, yeah. oh god, oh yeah, god, that, he that, got me, you bastard. Lovely bit in it too, where your man, I think it's, um, you've said his wife died in some sort of tragic way, and he just feels like I'm filling this hole, this endless hole, this you know, there's no bottom with love and it's just disappearing as whatever. And Ramdas said to him that he's like going, well, don't, maybe it's not bottomless. Maybe it's just very, very deep. <laughs> eventually will be filled with uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, love and even he can't even dead. he yeah. can't get through it he's, he's like, oh. yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> you're from the Grateful Dead yeah ah jeez one, one of the songwriters I've been listening to loads of them lately like, Jerry Garcia they're great mm. yeah is it Jerry Garcia is that here on it I don't think I don't think he was Jerry Garcia. I don't know, mm. but they, they were yeah, yeah, man, yeah. grateful. They'd stick them on their class. They yeah. Just always associated with, with kind of oh, stoner. I was like, oh shit, why I'm a stoner? Why, why am I not listening to them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're not it's like, like <laughs> they're not like they're not like the Pink Floyd type of stoner. It's, it's kind of singer songwritery type of stuff. Yeah. Oh, you're saying you know, the guy who said that was from the Grateful Dead? Is that who it were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get that. Dead, right, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Yeah, right, yeah, he seemed cool. Anyway, so yeah, Leary, yeah, yeah, Leary, when it just to, to cap that off, when he decides, so he knew he was going to die, he says, well, I'm going to do it as a, a, in my own, on my own terms as a, an actual event and the whole thing. And he does. And it's very sad because you can see he's trying his fucking best not to, don't let the Essex Central drive, right? You know, don't, don't, don't let the pain yeah. and don't look like he's trying to be as cheery for everyone around him and there's people playing music and he's waving from the deathbed and you go, oh man, this is tremendously sad. But, um, yeah. I, you know, I appreciate the, the kind of, um, what he was trying to do and have it, have it, a, you know, talk to, or walk the walk, not talk to talk, but you know, and him talking to his cancer and going, you know, come on, we're in this <laughs> together, mate. You, you know, oh, a few yeah, more Ms. years. Yeah. Come on, Miss Cancer, let's yeah. we can just stay here for another while and have some more fun. Come on, yeah. Miss Cancer, that, yeah. yeah, that was good, yeah, funny. He's right, mm. you know, fucking laugh at death and talk to it, and you know, yeah, meet it head on. It's, it's a good documentary, but I, 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 it would be one that you'd, if, if you're interested, you'd, you definitely have to go off and read a book, or you know, it's, it's, it covers an awful lot, but doesn't go into, into depth in anything. Like I don't really sure, know what yeah. Ram Dass teaches from this documentary, and, yeah. you know, and it's, it's more about Timothy Leary than Ram Dass to a point. Yeah, 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 it is yeah. there for sure. Yeah. 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 But really good, and um, you know, it's if you haven't seen it, it's. Um, yeah, it's a, it, you know, it will give you an appreciation of rather than if you think of Tim O'Leary as just the drug dude, you know. And it's great because by the end of it, they have very different views on nearly everything. Absolutely, you know, but to have this amazing love between them that, you know, mm. there's such a genuine hug at the end and, you know, kind of pain and sorrow of them, you know, leaving. Because at that point, I'm sure it's probably one of the last times, if not the last time, to see each other. Um, you know, because it, it, oh no, he was there. He was there when he died. Oh, was he? He was right. there, oh, there with, with, right. with with all those people. Remember right. the photos around the bed and all. He, he, oh yeah, he was indeed. there yeah, for yeah. a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. So you know. oh, the, the other thing, Leary did kind of make up for his bad relationships at the end, like with, in his last marriage. With a, with his stepson, that seems to yeah, with stepson. Him. He yeah. had he had stepson was four, and he lived with lived with Leary until he was twenty two. So however many years that is, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen years, yeah. and he was like, hey. Yeah, Best dad ever, totally white picket fence, normal dad, didn't know anything about all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Ram Das's uh, son turns up and go, Hello, <laughs> you weren't yeah, expecting yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah. that's mad. Ram Das had an affair, even though like he's like he had been struggling with his homosexuality. And, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Where did that come from? You yeah. know. Um, but he seems like he seemed genuinely happy about it because it would kind of, to, to, obviously as you would if I suppose if, if if you met your your son after all these years and he wanted to see you. But it's it's yeah he like, never had never had to change a nappy. He didn't have to do any nah. potty training. Yeah. None of the terrible twos, threes, yeah. fours, fives, Just six, fully arrived teenagers. fifty year old yeah. man. Here you go. Hello, Dad. <laughs> oh, nice one, nice one. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so that it goes slightly into the kind of um, uh, Ram Dass's stroke and how he ends up in the wheelchair and that kind of thing. The other um, documentary is it going home uh, as more yeah. that kind of takes over from that point. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, but yeah, you think you think you're going to cry at uh, dying to know you're definitely crying and uh, going home. Telling you if you're any kind yeah. of way like my like me, it's very sad. But it's also wonderful too. Like I mean, it, there, there's a, there's a Whatever you want to say about Ram Dass, and plenty of people say different things about Ram Dass, there's a genuine, I feel he's genuine, you know, I feel today, I don't think he's putting the love thing on, I think he, he did love people, and I think he did love the world, and I think he did love God, and, you know, tried to do his best, and, hmm. you know, that, that's like, <laughs> and yeah, I like, the and one thing that, that I learned from this documentary is now I understand why Gary Webber and all them sit cross-legged on the chair, weirdly, it's because Ram Dass did. And you can see Timothy Leary just laughing, going, "What the fuck are you at, man?" <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you reckon, yeah? Yeah. Oh, he does. There's, there's, there's that whole thing where he comes back from India, and the two of them are talking, and Randas sits cross-legged on the chair, the way you know, like Gary Webber does, and yeah, 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 and all that. And you can see Leary going, "What are you doing, man?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing I got from from the the other one was like, there's just the bravery of him to to be like. Uh, to be so sound about it, you know. But then again, look, maybe it's a bit easier when you know the game is up and you know it's coming. Like, mm. for me and you, like, you know, God forbid, we got smashed by a bus crossing the, crossing the road later today. I, I wouldn't have, I, I, like, you couldn't, like, listen back to these and say, oh, Spud was ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, he was prepared. He was prepared. He knew yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The angels came from man. He was ready. He was ready. Well, no. I mean, he did mention he was running out of lives. In fairness, <laughs> time to get hit over the bus. Yeah, where is he now? Oh, he's in hell. Yeah, he he he, he didn't understand it at all. Yeah, he's no. He, I mean, he's hey. actually. Yeah, he he he's yeah. the start again as a leaf. He's come back as a leaf <laughs> and then build it all back up again. Yeah. No, I'm gonna to go to Hades and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, jeer Parmenides with little uh, pomegranate seeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want one of these? You want yeah. one? You want one? Get you back on? in your horse. Get back ah, in your you horse, Parmenides. Ah, you do, you do, <laughs> ah, you do. Ah, go on. One, just one. Go on. <laughs> so uh, uh, just before we, before we go, I, I want to know your impressions of uh, uh, Peter Kingsley's book that you're reading currently. I should look. I'm only a money. What what am I? About? Quarter of a way through it now. Uh, what's the name of it? The oldest one. Uh, um, myth, magic, man, uh, history, the history of the magic, magic per- Parmenides, Empedocles. Uh, so look, yeah. um, I wrote something a bit a bit snobby in the in in in, in the in the Discord, and I, I don't I think it's snobby. That. I think it's something you've said a number of times, actually. So <laughs> it's it's like it's. A bit... Yeah, but now I know. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Now I have first hand knowledge. And and and, I, and I've gone off and I've gone off to 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 to, to, to Twitter, to Reddit, to places to try and find out because people say that like. He's so academic, but he's not um, like uh, by academia. He's not. He's not recognised by academia, and and now I totally know why. After finally starting to read one of the books, um, he uh, writes the book in the academic style of having like tons and tons of footnotes to back up his thing. But he breaks the golden rule of ac- academia. Um, papers by just talking about himself quite yeah, a he lot. Inserts himself at the beginning of the book. Now I'm only I'm only quarter way through it, mm. so I don't know how much more he comes back to himself. But the first well, I mean, pages. He, yeah, he, he, that's more of that in his other books because he doesn't even bother yeah. to do the academic See, stuff. Well, he does the footnotes, but it's not written academically in the way that is. But, uh, yeah. Look, footnotes. Look, people go on about footnotes a, a lot. Like footnotes, they're important, but like you don't need ten per page kind of thing. One two per page is more than enough and because uh, look I like oh, what's Spud talking about no look I, it's one of been my, <laughs> one of my jobs because <laughs> uh, yeah. like no no no, no like, like, since, since I moved over here proofreading copy readings well, not not anymore but I still do the odd bit of it but that was my bread and butter <laughs> it's usually lot, Tommy's right? comic <laughs> hey, Spud read this one <laughs> <laughs> no but I used to do a lot, a lot of stuff for college uh, for the college um, 
uh, what they call our university professors and stuff. And as well for, for a few other team, medical journals and all this kind of stuff. I used to do all Yeah, so all proper academic level stuff yeah. is what you're saying. So yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I don't write these stuff, but I proofread them and copy read them enough to know what's, what's required in them. And like the number one golden rule is you don't write the word I yeah. <laughs> ever. So I, I know from... Um, so you know, the uh, finance is doing her uh, academic style things that even you can't even you, there's like you, the way you have to write in such ways that you, you never refer to you, yourself at all you know you can't, if you say I sure. that has to be taken out or you know sure 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 the, or the, the you say not the writer what is it you call yourself you would say like the, the present research or the current that's research or this concept. research yeah, or sure. something yeah, like that yeah. you just don't, don't just don't do it so that's mm. why like he made this fatal error at the beginning of talking about himself mm. putting himself in the story he's not a which is why which is why I think no. his subsequent books drop the actual pretense of academia and just are more in line and also aren't published by an academic yeah. acad- academic press which his first book is yeah, um, yeah. they're now, published look. by New I think the book's good. Sufi's I book. think the book is good. I like it. Uh, I yeah. like I like his his arguments and and his kind of reasoning behind uh, why he puts the arguments in the way he does. I don't like the way he consistently or constantly bashes the same couple of people all the time because mm-hmm. you only need to do that once or twice. Really, you yeah. don't need to bring it up in every chapter every why time. someone is wrong and why you know, only you can understand this. And there's even the implication that the person reading it is an idiot. Which I like, annoys yeah. me too. But like, I love Kingsley. Now, I, I do not make give out of him, but it's the infallibility of Kingsley that gets at my tits. Like, he's, he's, he's really good, but he's not God. At least, you know what I mean? He's not the, <laughs> the final word in all of these things. But Jesus, he's definitely what. No. Me. Christ. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm definitely happy I started, I, I started reading this and uh, um, uh, learning a lot from it. Like, you know, it's, it's really interesting stuff that he's writing about. But. I, I totally get now why yeah uh, why why people say what they say about him you know but like at the same time I have loads of time for him as well I've listened mm-hmm. to him and I've watched as many stuff as I can about him I think he's on the ball with stuff I think I just just think that his approach to writing is wrong basically yeah it's, it's like I, I <laughs> no easy, there's no easy way to say it I mean he wants yeah. to be an academic so why don't you write like an academic yeah. guy, you know that's it like a lot of all of my thing is about how he writes like the, and how he presents it and that and yeah. himself and all that crap that what he actually is talking about dead on yeah yeah you know uh, yeah because like if 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 that if, if if like like what maybe when he started he should have Sorry, not, not maybe just because he would have predated them, but like say, well, maybe not. John Ronson and John Higgs, do you know, yeah, yeah. they never presented their thing as academic. But, no. yeah. uh, so he could, he, could have, he could have just done it that way. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The Gondor style, Hunter Thompson style, putting, himself, putting yeah. himself in the middle of it. That's well, fine to do it that way. But then where don't the writer becomes as, as part of the journal, yeah. but it's not what he's doing, but it is what he's doing. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That it, Kingsley is as much part of the story of Parmenides and Empedocles in Kingsley books. Uh, you know, yeah. like they're all they're on the same, and you can't do that in academic. Which is why it's it's more allowable in the subsequent books because he, he, while he does do a lot of footnotes and stuff like that, it's not presented as academic yeah, style. Yeah, yeah. It's more kind it's good of good though. I like philosophy. it, but like we're just we're just yeah. It's not, uh, there's nothing. <laughs> Wrong with what we're saying here. Yeah. Uh, I think Maybe. our arguments are fairly. So- I think our yeah. arguments are fairly solid on this. But like, yeah, yeah. no. At the same time, like, it's definitely worth reading, and I'm glad. I'm yeah, glad I started reading it. I'll, yeah, I'll read all the other ones as well. I, will, I, yeah. probably, pro- I probably won't touch Catafalque because I just. I just uh, no, it's just too big. Well, too you should. Long and... no, well, it's not. Well, it's two parts, and like the first one's only the standard size book. It just took me a year because it's just. I was like, I find it very hard to. Where I was, like you could probably read it in a week, like, but it's just it's. it's uh, no, you know what? Yeah. I think I think I want to spend more time with Carl Jung. Uh, if he get if he stops getting out of my fucking dreams uh, <laughs> no, before yeah, I, yeah. I would read it, yeah. another fucking Carl Jung. This is my fourth fucking Carl Jung dream now, man. It's just yeah. and we're <laughs> so we're sitting there in his library and we're in those. You know those lovely. Uh, Oh, there's an English name on the chair. You know the chairs that have the buttons in them, uh, the kind of stitched. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. are they called? God knows what the fucking chairs. Yeah, reading chairs. chairs. Posh, reading posh, chairs. posh yeah. English ones. They're lovely. Mm. So we're sitting in these the Sherlock Holmes chairs. type chair beside the fire, don't and uh, <laughs> and we're we're reading Bernardo Castrop's uh, Castrop. That's the surname. Yeah, Castrop, That's how you yeah. pronounce it. Castrop. Castrop. Ketchup. He's Brazilian. You know that? I thought he was he's Brazilian. Spanish. Yeah, he's Brazilian. Uh, no, he's, uh, Dutch, isn't he? No, look him up. No, no, he works in he works in Dutchland. What's that right. called? 
Holland. Holland? No, they don't like Holland. Netherlands. Yeah, Netherlands. Um, oh, he's right, in a, a university there. He's Brazilian. And, oh, I just um, assumed because he, he, he was... I've been watching a lot of him, actually. Men, uh, when uh, No, uh, listen out for from now on. When he gets ranty and kind of shouty, that's when the Brazilian comes out on him. Right, so right, right, right. You'll, you'll hear a bit of it. Oh, look at me. But, um, and sex, obviously, because, you know, Brazilians are so sex mad. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're class. <laughs> It's the horniest race of people on the planet. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, he, uh, 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 yeah, so me and Carl Young are sitting in these leather chairs and he's like, ah, yeah, 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 you see, you see, this is uh, Bernardo, Bernardo, he gets it. He totally gets it. And you could too if you just, what did he say? You could too if you just allow yourself or something like that. And then I woke yeah, up yeah. and I'm like, ah, this f- it's four times now. Get in my head, Carl. <laughs> get in my head. You know, what the hell are you doing in there? In fairness, you know, that's been out of catch up, uh, Young one is brilliant. I, I, I I'd say really had a full yeah. understand, not a full. I had a much rounder understanding of Carl Young after reading it than I had um, before. It's a great cosmic. The whole thing about the complexes and how the, um, you know, the uh, consciousness works within um, the collective unconscious. That's explained brilliantly in it. So we go, all right, yeah, now we get totally understand it. Where you know what that that uh, that we are to the collective unconscious, what a complex is to us. That kind of. Yeah. Stuff. Which is interesting. By the way, Carl, if you are listening, and you probably are since you're in my head, I don't really want you to get out of my head. It's kind of nice to have those dreams. Yeah. Carl Young comes to my dreams, man. Yeah. It's mental. Yeah, next, <laughs> next time it's a sexy dream, though. So, you know, be prepared for that. <laughs> oh, yes, I just put on my gloves. <laughs> why is French? I don't know why he's French. All of a sudden, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, <garlic. laughs> Carl Young's The French Years. Yeah. It's so because his accent, he, he learned English in like Liverpool or something. So he has like a kind of a weird. Um, Did he? Yeah, yeah. So you, you hit every now and again, you go, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice kids, Dad. Yeah, they're in, like almost like that. It's like, it's very odd. It's very weird. Tada, yeah. love. Yeah. So did Hitler, by the way. Hitler uh, Hitler spent, uh, Hitler, yeah, he, he, Hitler was in Liverpool for like six or eight months or something. Right. And uh, <laughs> obviously didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, I will, I will bomb this place. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's dig up Tommy uh, goodbye <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. bye <laughs>